good morning okay hi guys uh, welcome back uh, so today is an episode on uh, extreme fabulous indicator so we will be discussing in the note of uh, fabulous extent extreme version of it okay so that means that whatever the functionality which we had in fabulous which uh, breakout fabulous breakout point indicator will be there in this no it's a completely a revamped one where uh, we don't have that uh, set up in this particular uh, indicator called extreme fabulous extreme fabulous is uh, will that will not have any functionalities possessed by fabulous breakout point indicator everything in the setup is new and um, it doesn't have any kind of a similarity okay so there is a similar kind of a uh, setup which is there for fabulous extended version which which we are not going to talk about anything here so we're going to talk about this extreme fabulous indicator how it works okay so when you when you go to indicators and then if you upload this um fabulous extender uh, uh, screen is not visible sir screen not visible okay i'm sorry i'm sharing my screen okay so if you if you if you um if you go to indicators and add it from uh, the indicator section, you'll find this indicator called Extreme Fabulous Breakout Point Indicator. So this one is will have like institutional activity which has been written there, but it's already it has all the um, functionalities of an institutional player where they come, where they go, where the money is put in, where the money is taken out. Everything is all internally calculated in, uh, and then it showed in the chart. Let's break down each and every step. Each and every part of the uh, extreme fabulous breakout point will be will be separated into different stages, and we'll talk each and everything as a different scenario here. Okay, so let's talk about when you had this indicator in your in your thing. We'll have all this like this. It'll be a pakka like this. It will clear, and the chart looks very clean, and it'll not have any kind of a disturbances here. Okay. So one one drawback here is okay if you're not getting any kind of a values here in the in the chart like this, then you can reduce the time frame and try to work on it. It will definitely work out. It's not about time frame that you're going to work on. It's it's just a uh, need to know where the targets are. If you're not able to get any targets for five minutes, just move to an, another time frame like ten minutes or even fifteen minutes or even three minutes. It will get you a perfect entry and exit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's break down every part of extreme fabulous indicator. Okay. Extreme fabulous indicator, all the sections. Okay. First, let's let's talk about the cloud. The cloud is the main thing in the uh, indicator itself. Without this cloud, this part will not be 100 percent correct. So cloud is the main part of the indicator. The cloud, when the cloud is on the top, let's say the top, it says red. And then down, if it's a green, what it says, it's negative. That means that the sellers are on the top of the buyers. So that means that selling is happening on that particular strip. So whenever you see the target, let, let's say the cloud is red is on the top and the green is on the bottom, it's all on the selling side. You cannot go long on that particular stock. Okay, so and then if you see your green, when the green is on the top, red is on the bottom, means green, that means buyers have in, in the position and holding the trade. So you can go long on that particular trade with when you see a cloud is on the green side. Okay, so what if, <clears throat> what if, 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 um, if uh, the stock goes out of the cloud, let's say every time when it's a cloud, it will fall. Okay, when the stock moving, away from the cloud, let's say moving away from the cloud. That means that we have to look out for only single, single target, not more than targets, okay? So let's say um, in this case, okay, let's say in this case, what is what is trying to say here? Red is on the top, green is on the bottom, right? Then the green, red is on the top, green is on the bottom means we have, we have to expect only the target two levels. We have to expect target only two levels. So this is the first target and this is the second target because when you see here at this particular point, okay, let it come. So you see here, it's red is on the top, green is on the bottom. 
when that particular thing happened. And if you find an entry is triggered like this, when you see an entry is triggered, when the cloud, when the cloud, red is on the top, green is on the bottom, your entry is here, your target is only this. You should not expect more target. You should not expect more than 24835. You can have this target is compulsory. It will hit this target. Definitely it will hit the target. And this target will be your final target. Okay. If the if the green is on the top, red is on the bottom, you can expect target five. Are you getting my point? When you when you see a red candle, red cloud on the top, green is on the bottom, you can expect a target two levels only. And if the green is on the top, red is on the bottom, you can expect target five and more. So which is which is stronger? You should not see that. That means that what you are trying to do is you are going away from the trend. The trend is on the negative. You are going up against the trend. So if you are going against the trend, you know there will be a rejection point. You you will see a retracement or rejection point. So that will be your target two levels. Are you getting my point? So here, if you are going against the trend, you should be with the target two levels. You cannot be more than that. So clear on that, right? And then, <clears throat> but, uh, but but immediately the order blocks is there now. So is it safe no, to no, enter? I'm not talking about order block right now. I'm not talking about order block here. I'm just telling you the target will be first and time. So are we not talking about anything on the order block? I'll remove it first. Okay. First thing is you need to, I'll remove the order block also. Like this, you can remove. And you see, uh, order block equals to false. The order blocks will be removed. Okay. So we are talking about only the cloud right now. We are not talking about anything right now. We are talking about clouds. The cloud is here. When the cloud is at the top, red, green is on the bottom. When the entry is triggered, we can expect only the target two because we are going against the trend. So when you're going against the trend, we can have only the target two. If we are going with the trend, we can expect a bigger target. You got my point? So this is the first yes, step sir. in your indicator, like extreme fabulous indicator. This is the first step in your indicator. Okay. So everyone has everyone okay with the cloud which is there? Say yes or no. Yes. 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 Is there yes. any any doubt in the cloud? Yes. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. This cloud is what moving average only, right? Who is that? Twinkle. No, it's not a moving average. Okay. Okay. So second thing is, uh, if you see, um, uh, one second, let me see. So when the when the cloud is on the top, let's say you are the you are the the trend, right? If you see the trend, it's very small here. As the trend is very small, the volatility will be very small. If you see the trend is very small, like the width of the cloud is very small, you find the volatility will be very very small. But when the when the when the cloud is getting expanded, like getting expanded, you'll find more fall will be coming. Like see here, becoming wider and wider, the fall will be wider and wider. See the fall wider and wider. As long as this becomes thinner, this will be on the selling mode. Okay, so that is an additional information which has been provided. Okay, so the first part of the cloud is over. Okay. The second part, which we, which you really want to know is the candlestick. Okay. So we are not talking about yellow right now. We are going to talk about only the green and the red. Okay. So when you see red is, if, if you see a red color candle, what do you will do? It's basically a seller, right? Yes. The selling is starting. The selling is there. Okay. I'll just go for selling. Okay. When you see a uh, green color is there, I'll go for buying. See this, I'm going for a buying here. I'm getting a scalping target like this. Hello, red, and then turning to green. It's completely a buyer side. It's going and hitting the targets. So that means that I am okay in buying. Whenever it's green, I have to buy. Whenever it's red, I have to sell. You should be in that mindset right now. I see uh, when whenever you see a thing like this, whenever you see a red like this, don't buy. When you see a green, you can buy. Okay. At least you are in the safer hand. Okay. So when you see red, you are going to 
Everyone say or exit. Whenever you see red, what are you going to do? Sell. 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 Whenever you see, whenever see, whenever you see a uh, green, what you will do? Buy. 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 So red is is a danger signal. So you have to be out. Whenever you see green, it's a buying signal. You have to go for a long. So both things over. We talked about the uh, cloud and then we talked about the red and green. So we are done with that. Okay, now comes the another part. Okay, you see yellow color and the pink color uh, and the pink color in the chart, right? So when you see an yellow color, that means that the selling is on the trot. That means that selling is on. You can hold your selling. That means that selling is still on in this particular stock. Okay, when you go for a selling like this, and if you see immediately a red color, that means that selling is exhausted. The selling pressure, which is which exhaust the, the pressure that a institutional player exhibited on this particular candle got exhausted. Sir, uh, sorry, uh, sir, can you please repeat it, sir? I lost my network for a while. Okay, so I said that what is green? Yeah, green is nothing but buying, correct? Red is nothing but selling. Got it? Yes, yeah. Okay. So when, when you see, and then we have the colors called yellow and purple. <coughs> when you see an yellow is forming, that means that the sellers have entered into the market for that particular script. So when you see an yellow is formed, I'll be holding my sell because I already on the selling here. Okay, I already am selling here. Already I'm selling here. Okay, if I'm in the selling side, I'll be waiting for buying, right? I can wait till a candle turning to green. Or I can wait. Whenever I see a yellow, I can still wait. I can keep on holding my targets. Okay. I'll hold my targets so that I don't miss my targets. So I'll hold my yellow color. But when it's gone to red again, I'll be out from the trade. Or I can, whenever it's <coughs> green, I'll be out from the trades. That means that I, though I should have got bigger profit here, I'll be with smaller profits. But it's okay. One time, it's okay. Market had given that point of thing that's okay second time you got a red color you're going for a shot again it's going for a shot again you see an yellow color is forming here you can still hold came down and then it turned to red that means that you're out okay so you can be out from the trade if you want to book your profits you can book your profits and when it turns to green you're going to long that means that shorting is over so you cannot go for long Okay, what what have to do when I go for long? Let's say I'm going for a long. I'm taking a long with this green color candle. What will be my stop loss? If I go in with the green color, what will be my stop loss? The lowest of the green yellow color, the yellow. lowest yellow color will be your stop loss. The lowest of the yellow color will be your stop loss. That means that if I go with this particular candle, this is my stop loss. Yes. So when you're doing it in a in a in a in a like bigger, uh, I want to be a, like getting into a uh, phase where I want to get it at the lowest of the lowest. So that means that we have to go with the lowest price here, and you can go with long with the green. Okay. Or if you really see if there is a uh, yellow color here and it's turning to red, right? Even though it's turning to red, right? If you're going to take the risk. You can go long in this and you can have a stop here. This will be a smaller, smaller stop loss. It may be rewardable or it can hit your stop loss. Here, see here, it is rewardable here. And then it came down. Sometimes you, you see here, this is red. And then going above, uh, above this red color candle, you got a reward. Still stop loss did not hit it. Right? So you, you can take your own decision. Probably whether you want to take long or you want to take short. Okay. So basically, Can what you are going to do is two, three sentences in the end which you said. So I said what I've said is if you are in the if you are having a yellow color, you keep on holding your trades until you see it is uh it is not turning to red or green. Okay, so when you are holding this, like if you see a uh, let's let's go uh, longer okay you see here okay we have a yellow color here right so when you see a yellow color 
and then it is going down with yellow color only you can still hold your position you can hold your position until it's turned to red or green okay when you turn uh, uh, when you turn to green right when you turn to red you can still sell but if you if you if you want to be a, like okay it's it's uh, the selling is exhausted here it is still a red for me i can take the risk you can take the risk above this candle and you can have a stop below the red color candle a, above this candle you can go long and then you can have a stop below this candle okay that you can do it okay if you are uh, eagerly want to take a trade right on the longest side you can do that but if you really ask me i'll go only with the green color candle whenever it goes to green i'll take it whenever it's red i'll be keeping on holding my trades i'll, I'll don't take any trades right, right. see red i have to go long i have to go short see this if it turns to green and then suddenly red i'll be out because its trend is very big you see the cloud is very big and then the red it will definitely fall there's no other go it will go long it will definitely fall so you have to think on the color side color is very important in the chart okay when you see a color like red color you are out you are not in the buying side you are in the selling side are you with me so when you see a yellow color you will be holding your selling position so that you get a bigger target same thing when you see a purple color let's say you have a purple color is formed and then a green color it's not turning to red so i'll be still holding my position okay and then purple again it's green only again it's purple i'll be holding my position until it's turning to red see this <clears throat> it is turning to red i'll be out from the system so i have taken a entry here i got an exit from here so how much big point that you got from here so if you had entered here you would have got somewhere around here let's say I'm okay. taking the, this particular thing, 131 points. That's so 0.53 percent you got from this trade. In fact, if you are, if you are, if you see, you you already got one percent of it. Let, let's see if you take an entry from this particular area to the top. If you see, it's almost one percent. You will get bigger returns when you hold your trades. Whenever you see a purple color, you please hold the trades. Let's say here, see if L, pink color is formed. Okay, you're holding your trades. Your big move, it's coming. And then after that, when it's turned to green, it's still old. When it's turned to red, you exit. Again, it's green. Again, you can hold. You're getting my point, what I'm trying to say? So what are you going to do when you see a yellow color? We'll hold the position. Hold, hold, hold the, the sell trade. Hold Selling pull. Yeah. When you see a purple color, what you will do? Hold the, hold the buy, hold buy, the buy, buy position. position. Hold the buy position. Because this buy is where position. the institutional players have entered. That means that people have entered here, like there are selling and there are buying as well as selling is happening at this particular area. So you can still hold the trade unless who is getting power. Okay. When you see a power on the buying side, you can, you can they will push the trade to the higher side and then they will fall. Okay. They will make it to the higher side. So until then you can hold your trades. Okay. So you got that, you got my view, right? So when you see a yellow color, let's say you have a purple color formed here. You have a purple color formed here. And then you find a red color is forming here. So what you'll do, you'll take a shot here. Your stop loss will be at this particular highest point. So when you do that, your stop loss will not hit here. It's not hitting, right? So you can still make yourself right you can do a double trades and you can also exit but when you see a red is turning to green you are out see you are taking a short entry here and also it is telling me sorry brother you are not in this uh, you are in the wrong trade you have to go long side and also it is telling me that trend is on the positive side why are you going short? right as long as it's turning to green you can still hold your trades okay in this case I'll be buying here. I'll be holding my trades. On this, I'll be booking my trades or not be booking your trades. Anything can happen here. Here it started. This may be your, if you're taken a year, you should have exited from this position. When you exit from this position, you are holding your trades. Sell, 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 sell. It's all sell. So I also told you that whenever, see, let's say, I'll take it to here. Okay. Whenever, the cloud is here, right? Whenever the cloud is here, whenever the cloud is green and the 
red is on the bottom. How much target I can get? I can get only two targets, correct? Yes. As I know, I get only two targets, correct? Yes. The first target is this, second target is this. So we got two targets, one target and two targets. You treat this line, don't treat this as, oh, sorry, sir, it's on the long side, it's not on the short side. Don't treat this uh, numbers here. You treat this level, like this level and this level. It will go to two levels only. So that means that when it's taken, when it's crossing the clouds here, we get two targets at the bottom. So two targets are here. So I'll, I'll just go, see, first, sorry. Where was I? You're right. Okay, the so first, sorry, went down. Sorry, I'll just take it to one more, one more time. I'll take it to one more time here. Sorry. Here. Okay. So what, what is the target I have? I have target one and target two. So this is my first target and this is my second target. Okay. So if it changes also, I have these two targets. This is in my mind. Okay. So if, and then next, next candle, it is already giving me an entry here. Okay, so that means that it is also letting me know that there's another target which is here like 24942. It's 924920, it's already there. But I am expecting this is my previous when it, when the candle getting crossed here. I have these two targets in my mind. Okay, so this is my target. I was expecting like 25,021. So let's see whether it's hitting that particular target. So the entry is not triggered. So you got the targets. See this exactly on the target. So you need to be cautious on which candle that you're looking out for. When the candle getting crossed, we had two targets, right? We had one target and we had two targets here where you need to draw these two lines there, one line and two lines here. Because when, when the next, when next is happening here, you may get a false entry. Okay, you may have a target here, but as long as when the candle is getting close, the trend is here. We have these two candles, two, these two levels as your target. So we need to have these two lines marked in your chart because you don't need to miss out. Them. So I just mark these two lines. It is taking exactly from that particular area and that moved out. So the trend is still on the top. Yellow is there. I have to hold my trades, right? See what happened. So I'm going, see this one, hello, red, I have to still hold my trades, right? Though it went up, I am getting my profits. If you are exited from this particular moment, you are scary, you are lost your trades. So here it is going down. Your cloud will act like a resistance. And also you also have one more thing which I'll be talking later. That is also there, so just allowing the price to go down. Okay, do this now. The entry is still at the second level only. Okay, excuse me, sir. Should yes. we move out at the green candle here? Yeah, 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 you can move out, you can move out from the green candle here, and then okay. again enter for this target. For this. Yeah, you can enter target, for the target. Okay. target you can go, but because when you cannot go for the target because the candle is the green is on the top, red is on the bottom, we cannot go for the targets. So if okay. it crosses this, then we have a different target. So it's not crossing. So we have these tar two targets are intact. Okay. So here when it crosses, you see that area will be your acting area. See that this area is not going out. So then when it's getting enlarged, then you'll find a bigger move. When it crosses this, you see a big move will be coming. So here crossing, right? Here it is crossing, correct? Mm -hmm. Here it is crossing, yes. right? Yes. So when it crosses, what will be my uh, targets? Again, what will be my targets? My targets will target be two. target two. What is our target two levels are? One is stop loss one and one is second is stop loss two. Stop. So we have a target on the stop loss. Let's say I have this target. And this is my target. If it crosses this, because it's away from the targets, right? It is away from the trends. Okay. When it's away from the trend, we have to go for the target one and two on the top side. Okay. And so entry will be in the green candle, sir. First green candle. If it goes up, yeah, green. If you are, that means that you are taking the entry, it's green, right? So that yes, means sir. that you have to expect this two are the targets. So I'm taking an entry here. 
this candle I'm taking entry, so I'm taking this two as my entry. This, and above this the green candle, sir, or itself in the green candles we should take. So you are taking this as a green color candle. So oh, next candle, yes. right? So you're taking this as a green color. So you're taking this from red is turning to green. So you're thinking that it will go up. So that means that we're crossing the uh, level. So you're taking the entry. So you're waiting for the target this. So waiting, waiting for it because the candle is not getting closed below the level. Okay, now it's getting closed. So now it's getting closed. Everything is getting over. This stop loss will happen. We will check in premium chart now, sir. It will hit. Uh, it will hit because it will go down. See, the trend is correct. Now it's correct, right? The trend is mm -hmm. negative. And then your entry is correct. So this is the perfect entry. So when the trend is entry, entry is there, your fall is there. You, done. you get this fall correctly from your trade. All you need to do is you need to follow the trend. When the trend is on the top, like red, and the green is there, you find a perfect entry, you get a perfect result. Here you get the yellow color, you hold your trades because your confirmation is entry here, yellow is here, trend is also negative. So that means that we are looking out for the target below. That means that 100 points is there in your KP, ready made. So you would have got this entry here, you have this targets also here. So once you enter this target, like 24942, okay, there's one thing is for me. We'll talk about that. But here, you got this target. Beautifully, you got this target, correct? So, so you need to... We need... have to look at the spot chart only? So not about anything. I'm just talking about a script. Oh. Okay. I'm one more step, you'll have to take an example, sir. I am doubtful about that. Okay. Later on, if you have time. So let me take another one. Okay. Any script that you want power to Power grid, can you take up, sir? Power grid on 15th of October. Okay, I'll take power grid. <clears throat> 1215 candle. Okay, you find this? Okay, you find this, correct? 1215, where is 1215 candle? Five yeah, minutes, right? Yes, sir, five minutes. Five minutes. It's yellow top. candles. Yellow candles. Starting to form yellow candles. No, it was the left candle. Uh, entry was shown, sir. Some some entry was shown here. Okay, let me see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We got an entry here, correct? Mm -hmm. We got an entry here. Yes, sir. This particular entry is also there. Okay, you got a selling here. Okay. You find one more support is already there. It's already there at this particular moment. This is a bigger one, correct? This is a bigger one which is already there. Okay. So that means that if you're going with this entry point, I have to go for a target. Anything. All the targets should be met, correct? One, two, three, four, five. I should get all the targets, correct? But there is a yeah. problematic area is already there. Like this area, like it's a problematic area is there. So that means that it may come to the target two only. So this is my target two area. So I should expect a target only this. I should not expect a more target from here. Okay. So if it falls below this, then your targets are in plan. This is my, uh, yeah, like what, what you can say is this area will be your uh, support area. Like this area will be your support area. So when you see here, it falls. It did not hit the target also, right? So it did not hit the targets, correct? It did not hit the target and it's turned to green. So that means that you're out. Okay. When it, when they turn to green, you're out from the system. And that means that you're taking a long entry here, which is the lowest one here. This will be your stop loss. You can hold, take an entry, hold your stop loss here, take an entry. You're getting an entry point here. So when you're getting entry point here, what will be the targets? Get to Target. Two, tar two targets. So you get the one target here and the second target is here. So do not expect more target from this script. We have to expect only the target one and the target two. So that means that the trend is on the negative side. So that means that we have target only one and two. So that means that it goes there, it crosses, it's a target. Mm -hmm. Important right. line for intraday yeah. let's so act as a resistance, sir. I think. Sorry. Here it is crossing. Here in this case, see this? The trend is getting changed. Green is going top. Purple is there. I should hold my trades. So when I hold my trade, buying trade. it's a buying trade from this. So I, then now I it can hit. exit from the trade. Okay, so 
That means that whatever you see a green color, you can enter it with a previous yellow color as a stop loss. Okay, so this is another kind of a strategy inside a strategy. Okay, so if you want to if you want to take without anything like entry and exit point, you're taking this entry, you can go long. You can apply a reversal fibo on this and then you can take an entry. Do you have a targets? On okay. the green candle, sir. The green candle, you can apply the person to go against the targets. Okay, if you're not you able to get the target, that. you can draw this as a uh, mm -hmm. uh reversal paper target. And if you're a worst mm -hmm. case scenario, if you if you're really working, want to work more into it, like I want to get a perfect entry, means you have this as a reversal paper. This also has a reversal paper. You get a confluence zone and then do it. Get it. Okay, so that is a different case. Okay, so when you see an entry like this is a falling phase. We have a yellow color. That that means that we are holding my position. It's turning to red. That means that I'm out from the seller, uh, selling position. Unless I see a uh, below this particular area, I'll be going for short again. Okay. So otherwise, if your red is still there, you can still hold your trades. Unless it's turning to green, you can still hold your reds. So if you want to be 100% sure that, okay, it is going to go down, I'll be holding my trade unless it is turning to green. It's all like... You know where you know there is a there is a ATR is there where you go until uh, the stop loss it right you're just moving your stop loss like same thing you're it is like you're taking which candle will be your positive candles until then you can hold your trades so this will really help you in your trades wherever you're getting a shot you can wait until the green color is forming so until then you can hold your trades you'll get a beautiful returns from this particular thing okay. Same thing when you see a purple color candle, please hold your trades. You get more profit too. If you really see a uh, nifty right, um, today we did right. Uh, which was that stock which was moving up and up? Uh, Just like, bank, I say, say bank. Access bank, right? Let's say access bank here. <clears throat> we had this target, right? This is this marked during the market hours. During the market hours, we marked this, right? See this. Uh, here it was away from the <laughs> he was given here. The he was given here. So this candle is below the cloud, correct? Are you getting my point? What I'm trying to say? Yes, yes. Sir. This candle is below the uh -huh, yeah. below the point. Cloud. Below the cloud. Below the cloud. Yeah. And this candle is above the cloud. Yeah. So when the cloud is above the cloud, this was green is on the red is on the top, green is on the bottom. Yes or no? Green yes. on the top, red is on the bottom. What did I do? I selected two different targets. We have two different targets, mm -hmm. one and two targets here. So it, where is the target I took? I took a target where um like this one was the target. Okay. The target one was big here. It was a big target, like target one was a big target here. So you can expect the target one, but I cannot have a target one like that. What I did is I took the previous rejection point area, this one as a first target point here. Okay, this is my first target point, which I took it. And then I, what I did is entry point is here, right? And then I took it uh, like uh, the entry point was here. How did I mark this? I, yeah, I think you should uh, replace or uh, replay the, you will get it. No, you Might be the, uh, I think you used three minutes timeline, not Maybe five minutes. Yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah it's possible. Uh -huh. Let me see here, please see. Okay, I'll just move it here. You will not see that, okay? Uh, no, sir. Entry is there only, no, sir. Oh, sorry. So maybe you have checked in team. Uh, yeah, Actually, yeah. I think it was in three minute time frame. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll check it. I'll check it. Yes, sir. Three minutes time frame. Three minutes time frame, right? Mm. Okay, let me see that. Okay, so it's a and yesterday you we, we waited till nine thirty. You said after nine thirty we will check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, first thing it was falling. Okay, and then let's let's have it in five minutes itself. Okay, so what I did is I was waiting for the five minutes here. I just marked these two lines here. So this will be a support level which I marked, and then uh, entry I gave it around this particular area, which was like previous support line. This was a support line here. And uh, I took it somewhere here. This is my area. I told you if it enters this particular area, 172, it will hit this particular area. So that's what I said. And then I did uh, 
like this, I think. So maybe this to this, 19.35 points. So maybe I did the same thing here. Same thing here. Yeah, I did the same thing. I took the same height from this particular thing to this and then took this particular target because I want a bin between the entry and the target is big, really big, like 1172 and 1215 is target is very big. So I don't expect Axis Bank will cross like 50 points in a single day. So I had two different targets, one target and second target. One target, I took it on the rejection point area. This is one and second one. Here. And then after that, it went and then it hit all the targets here. Same thing if I go for access bank, like the ICC bank, I think we will have something there. Sir, sir, one second. Uh, sir, can you go back a little bit? Uh, so, wait, a uh, minute. wait a minute. Let me show here and then I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay. okay. You see here, um, the entry point is triggered here. Okay. The entry point is triggered here. Um, entry point is triggered at this particular candle, which is away from the uh, trend right this is a trend which is which i was talking about the cloud which is crossing above the thing and when it crosses we it's turned to purple so what is what what i really need is i need two targets i will get two targets one target and second target first target is compulsory which is there it's already hit the first target here and the second target is here so hit the second target it's almost going to the second targets right and then the trend is changing then after that it will be this and then come down so basically you're holding it from this particular area purple you're holding your trades see this it never allowed you to exit from the trade did it no from your yeah. trades <clears throat> of the market yeah go ahead with your question brother uh, yeah could you go back to uh access bank uh, yeah i'll just go back to access bank here Yes, it's where you are explaining these two. Uh, uh, so that uh, I'm just uh, maybe I missed out. Uh, where is this uh, 1163 line? Uh, 1162 is the red line uh, that is coming. Uh, was that shown by the indicator? Or? No, no, it's so I. Uh... It's not like that, bro. It's like um, a simple retracement, okay? So uh -huh. this is a bigger one, right? This is a bigger uh -huh. The retracement was at 0 0.618 levels. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay, yeah. so I just marked it whether it's crossing that particular level. Okay, fine, fine. I did that because I did it purposely because I don't want the stock to go down. So it, mm -hmm. it didn't went down. So I was waiting for it was going to go up. So waiting for mm -hmm. 0 0.618 year, then <coughs> it moved up. And after that, it turned purple. So when it's turned purple, oh. you have to go along. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Yeah. Thank so I, after purple, it's completely a purple one for me. I'll be holding it. We can yeah. enter immediately after the green candle, the second green candle, or do we wait for that entry <laughs> there? No, oh, entry is green, right? Green is there, right? Entry. You can hmm. enter here a green, you can have a stop loss here, you can do that because when you see okay. a red color, you cannot do it. But when it's green, it's positive, correct? That's what I said. Green, first stage which I taught you is when you see a green color candle, it's positive. Yes, sir. Hmm. So here it's opened with red, but it's turned to green. That means that this is positive, it's not red. So that means that you have to wait for next candle, hmm. next candle is purple. So that means that it's completely long. So you could have hold from the entire race. Okay, same thing which happened in ICSC Bank also, where uh, it was completely hold from your trade, where it started your trade, and it, you are completely holding your trade. You are not exiting from the trades. I am making you hold the trades. You are not <clears throat> you to exit from the trade. Same thing happened yesterday. It was a yellow color here. It was completely yellow. You are not going to sell. You are not going to cover your position at all. You are going to sell here. Sell, 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 sell only. Complete sell. Where it happened here? Red color. <coughs> you want to go long here? You should have gone long above this. Stop loss would be here. This should be a stop loss. And this should be a long entry. But I also told you, if you want to, if you are very eager in taking your trade, you can take this trade. But if you are very confident on your trades, you have to take it from the green color candle. The green, and then this is your stop loss. So it's all about how you position your trades.
Okay. So we are talking about Voltas. Yesterday we gave Voltas also. Yeah, Voltas also we gave. Voltas and Motorola. Forty-five we gave for. Uh... What we did is we did two entries here. We did two entries on Voltas. I'll tell you. I remember that. Okay. So what I really do uh, did there is okay. So I'll just move it here. Here. Okay. It was here. Uh, that's where the uh, team was telling me uh, Voltas is there for the trades. So when when you see a Voltas given a uh, a trade like this, right? It, they said that. Entry is on from this particular trade. I said, okay, and the selling is exhausted here. So if it exhausted, I can maybe if it goes up, I have a target only till the cloud. Okay, this is my first target which I gave. Then <clears throat> the target will be on the cloud because it will go and hit the cloud and come down. We have a rejection point also with this particular uh, order block which I'll be talking to you later. They are also getting a rejection point, and then here also they're getting a rejection point. So I said, if you buy it here, you get a target of eighteen thirty eight, and then you get a target of eighteen forty seven. That will be a final. Okay. After that, what really happened is it went and hit the target. See, this is first target it hit. Okay, and then it went and hit the second target also. And after hitting the target, it crossed the line. See here, it crossed the trend. Correct. It crossed the cloud. Yes or no? Here it crossed. And you got an entry here. So this is the target. What is the maximum target? Eighteen seventy eight. Two level. Two level. Two level. So what is the target? target. We have to. Eighteen seventy eight. Right. You're absolutely right. So eighteen seventy eight is your target. Like this and this is your target. Eighteen sixty seven and eighteen eighteen seventy eight is your target. So here, if you enter the year. It will go and hits the target first, <coughs> and then goes and hits the second target. Second. Okay, so still the cloud is getting support. Okay, and we first target is done, so it is going to the second target. It did not went for second target. It will, it will go and hit the second target because the cloud is also turning green. Got it. Sir, whatever you are saying will apply to swing trade also, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I'll be asking. Uh, our friend will will be taking it because I cannot speak for all to us, so I sure. should give it to someone else also. Okay. So I give it to someone who also talk on this. Okay, on the swing trade. So Sir, one, sorry, that. one question. Uh, it's a little theoretical though. Does this work across market caps or anything? Uh -huh. Anything. Whatever you which one you want to work on, I'll tell you. <laughs> No, let's look at uh, any comp. Uh, you know, so I'll I'll show you. Uh, yesterday I we talked about. I showed you on silver, correct? I'll show you on silver commodity. Okay, silver, correct? Silver future. I talked about silver <coughs> future. Okay, it started from here. The entry was given at this particular area. The entry was given at this particular area. The cloud is green, correct? Yeah. Cloud is green. The that is on the bottom. That means that entry is given here. So we have a first target which is on the uh, because we have a rejection point on this particular cloud. So sorry, particular order block. So you get a first target is this. So even though my target is <coughs> here one and two target is here, I can expect a target first target is here. So when it crosses this particular level, and if it sustains, I have other levels. I have other targets. So from here, I draw this third target. So when the entry point <coughs> in particular candle, particular candle is triggered, we have all the targets intact because the trend is on the next positive side. I am also getting an entry on the positive side, so I get target five, <coughs> three, four, five, all targets hit, and then it went to the sixth target. See, sixth target is almost hit. Bang on. Okay. Oh, that's that's terrific. My only question is. Does it work for uh, low volume managed stocks? Technically, most stocks are managed, uh, but uh, the impact is more in low well uh, low volume managed stocks. Can okay, you... which stock do you want? Do you want? Take a company with the uh, low trading volume, like Beryl Drugs. Uh, so so before before you switch to another stock, I just have a question, a quick question on this one itself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so now here uh, you hit target five, and that is when uh, the color is purple. Yeah. So. And after that, it is turning red. red. Right. So, I'm, out. I'm out. And then okay. again, green. 
again green have okay. on new entry you have to take the entry new entry, so, entry yeah so then your stop is below the bottom of that last red color not red color be yeah, purple color will be a stop loss this will be a stop loss okay okay this candle will be a stop loss the because okay the pivot will come and then it went up mm -hmm. so if okay. the green is formed above this i can move my move my stop loss here after this I can move my stop loss to this IS 2.1. After okay. this one, I can move it. So until then, I'll move it till the safer side. This is my lowest one. I'll take it here. Uh, and when will you move it up? After it goes up. After above, the purple color. This is the highest point, correct? Okay, after it takes out the high. Uh, after it takes the highest point, I'll move my stop loss to this particular level. That's it. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Until then, I don't do it. Okay. So purple yeah. color turn to green and uh, green color turns to red. So we can go for the sell entry here. Here I have to go for a. I I will not be going for sell entry also, brother. Because here if it's turned to red, I can go for sell entry because my cloud is very near her. Mm -hmm. I cannot go okay. sell. Mm -hmm. And also you see the strength of the cloud is very big. Yes. That means that you go for a cell entry. Are you going to put your hand in your uh, fire? Into the fire? Yes, sir. No, don't do that. Yeah. Same thing here. Here you have got a red color entry. The cloud is very nearer. Okay, and entry point is nearer. Will you go for a cell here? So I'll be out from the system. But will you go for a cell? I'll not, I'll not going to do that mistake here. Again, I see green color. I go for a long entry because already my target is target 5 and target 6 and target 7 and target 8. So I'll go for a long entry. Go, go for it. Same thing happens. Okay, let's go for the stock which uh, Nandakumar sir said. What stock, sir? Can you repeat it for me? Sorry, I'll, for... I'll, I'll take this stock. Uh, it's a Chennai-based company. Only take solutions. T-A-K-E. T-A-K-E. Take, take solutions. Yeah. It's a erstwhile Sriram Group company. Sorry? It's an erstwhile Sriram Group company. Okay, okay. So the volume is very less here, correct? So that means that I cannot um, get into entry because there are most of the time it's on the upper circuit or the lower circuit. Mm. Okay. So are you going to do an intraday on this? I don't think so. Correct? No, definitely not. Because this is very, very small, small cap company. So you'll buy it and you'll keep it. Correct? Correct. So when you do that, so uh, am I, my time frame should be five minutes. <coughs> no. Correct? Correct. So I'll go for one day. Yeah. Because one day also there will be a lots of what you say, uh, upper circuits. Okay. But in this case, there is no that much of upper circuit in one day. Okay. That's yeah. three minutes. Okay. So I'm taking one minute time frame. Okay. I'm taking one day time frame. <coughs> so let's say um you're getting a sell entry here. You cannot go for a selling, correct? Definitely there will not be a sell. On this particular stock, you can only buy, and if you have it, you can sell it. You can exit from the system, correct? That's what. Yes. So you are you are waiting for a right entry on this particular stock. I'm eager in buying this stock, so I'm not going to take any entry unless I see green. So red is there. Is there given? <coughs> unless and unless the green candle is not formed, we will not take an entry. So we will not take an entry. Any entry yet. So. From this particular point, you are saved, right? From your, from this twenty four point eight nine, you are. This indicator is allowing you not to take the trades. It's asking you, please hold your trades. Do not take the trades. So, so it is helping you post <coughs> ten rupees on this particular stock. Is that awesome? And then you find a green color candle here. Once you find a green color candle, go long. What will be a stop loss? The lowest one which you found on the yellow color will be a stop loss. Take an entry or hold your position. That's it. You can do it. And then this will not hit the stop loss. This will be your perfect entry. The entry was here. And then your stop loss was here. And then you got all the top targets here. So, but in between the yellow candles, there are red candles too. <laughs> Where the yellow candle? Red. Back, back. Here, yellow and red. You see? In between these yellow candles, see? No, 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 no. I said only green is buying. Red is not buying, oh. correct? Okay. Red is not buying. 
even though red is here if you are going for a buying right if you're going for a perfect buy i said now if you want to buy a perfect buy you need to see a red color candle uh, sorry green color candle if you want to take a risk you can take a risk with the red color candle that's what i said if you okay if you but we have to uh, remain in the trade in the sell trade even if the candle comes becomes red or move out of it this is what i'm asking no if it's red you can still hold the selling trade you do not okay. buy for me okay. if you ask me i will not buy if someone wants to buy it they are going to take the risk if they want to take the risk they can take the lowest level of green color should be your stop loss so okay. let's say on this day there was a moment here happened let's say it was low was formed here 1717 and next can next day it moved up to 19 rupees people will be very eager to buy into it i know 2 rupees it would have gone up 2 minutes it would have gone up so people would be very much uh, uh, in line to buy it okay so because 2 rupees is up so next day also it will go up so people will be buying on the next day okay if they buy it they should have a stop loss here that's what i said same thing if you want to a okay. buyer i am a buyer perfect buyer like swing trading as a buyer i will wait for a perfect entry at the low at the low is here right so when you get to the lowest point <clears throat> you get a beautiful entry so when you get a lowest point green color here i put a stop loss at this particular level though i am getting at 16 rupees i am putting only 3 rupees as my stop loss and i am waiting for the previous time so let's say where it is getting it's not giving me a purple it's turning red and green so i took it took it here it's turning red so i should be out because the trend is not giving me a perfect entry see this the trend on the cloud is still red is on the top green is on the bottom so if i take this position i have to exit from the cloud okay so here here everything is gone so here we got an entry let's say let's move it here okay let me uh let us start sorry let me move it here okay so this candle moved away from the away from the cloud right so that means that if it moves and if it uh, continued i would have got the target 27.20 this is very my target but after that it did not sustain there it came down again it did it came down yes it came down here this candle is out from the cloud that means that this is not the worthy target okay next uh, here this candle crossed this candle crossed so that means that i will get only two targets what is the target 25.20 this is my target because the green red is on the top green is on the bottom my target is 25.20 so 25.20 will be my target so i will be i will be entering into this particular trade so that means that i should get a target of 25.20 see Got it, sir. Paka. Sir, yes, sir. Thanks so much. Okay. And, and I, then... I presume this works across markets also. Right? It works across it markets. Works, sir. I can show. <coughs> I, I didn't take the take solution, right? You only took me. You uh, only took me out. It works in take solution, right? No, I mean, mean it works across markets, right? U.S. markets, other markets also. Logic, I told you clearly. This hmm. is the logic that you need to follow. Whenever you see a red color on the top. <coughs> on the bottom when the candle is crossing the candle that means that crossing the cloud you should expect only two targets do not expect a target of five that is a mistake people will do that's why i'm telling it every now and then whenever you see this one is out that's why i said entry is given you should be entering for a target of target two only so that means the target two i'm out okay and then now it's turning green now it's turning green that means that we will get one more opportunity that you will get more targets now that means that you get 29.10 and then 33 after that it will go up like this so it will get support from the cloud and then it will go up it is not going it's falling that means that what you have to do it is not going down we have to expect that is what you need to do again here it's crossing so you need to watch like this sir you need to watch out for this so it will 
it worked beautifully. Target to only see. Target to entry was given here. If crossing, only two targets. Correct? Sir, what are this? Yes. Yes. One second. One second. We'll go that. We'll go that one by one. Okay. Okay. Let me complete one by one. Okay, we are not completed this because people have lots of difficulties here. We need to understand, clear it. So here, this candle is gone away from the cloud. Yes or no? Here it lost away from the cloud. So what is the target that we have? Only two targets. So this is the first target and this is the second target. Bang on, correct? People should not say that, sir, this side works. This side did not work. This side also works. Okay, na, sir. Nada, sir. Fine. Yeah, yeah, perfect, sir. Thank you very much. Thank Super. you. Sir. Any other doubts that you have? Sir, what is the meaning of away from the crowd, cloud? What what does it mean? I see that this far this... from the cloud. No, 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 no. I'm saying that this candle is crossing the cloud and it's see the closest above below the cloud. Okay. Okay. So that means that it almost the low is formed like below this cloud, correct? So this candle is out, it's, it's gone more. See, usually what happens, you know, the candle will touch uh, touch this, the body should be inside the cloud, it should be inside the cloud. That means that it's still on the downtrend. But in this case, the body was below the cloud. The cloud. Closing, that means closing. That means closing, yeah. If it's below this cloud, that means that we have a target two only. You should not have target okay. three because entry is already given here. So you should not expect, sir. I am expecting a target of fourteen, but it came and uh, it got reverse at target two. What happened? You should not ask me. Okay. So so we talked Fine. about so 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 I'll ask you certain questions here. Please answer it. So we talked about the trend, uh, the clouds. Is it okay? Everyone understood? There's no yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem with that, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. No we, talked, we talked about the yellow and uh, we talked about the green color candle, the red color candle, the yellow candle, the purple candle. How to take the trades with purple and yellow candle? And how to take a trade with yellow? How to take a trade with purple? How, it, how to take a trade when the candle crosses the uh, cloud? Everything is over, right? So everything is good, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So done. So we have done with uh, two things. We done with the cloud. We done with the coloring of the uh, uh, coloring of the candles. So major part of the work is complete. Okay. Now comes the another part. Another important thing in the uh, indicator is the triangles. These are like soldiers which we have been talking about. These are like real soldiers. These are like indicators for you. Like whether the trend is going to be upside or it will be on the downside or it will be on the right side or right side. So if you see in Tamil, they say Kathi Mele Kasi. So something like that. Okay. So wherever you put, your, wherever you see the triangle like this, like one, two, three triangles are there. That means that this side, more number of people have entered into the selling side so that means that so we have a selling side one two three selling side is there so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a triangle rectangle here take it from the low of the triangle this is the candle right this candle low of this particular triangle i'm taking it i'm going to the second low which is this candle this candle low i'm going for it and then i'm going to the Third candle, this candle low. I'm just going to and covering all the three lows. Okay, so when you cover all the three lows, that means that you get a perfect what? You get a perfect support. 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 So this. So, so can you please repeat it again? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm listening to the girl. Okay, so here I'm taking a rectangle. This is the first candle, yeah. this is the second candle, this is the third candle. We have three candles yeah. here. I'll take the, let me draw it from, first from the uh, line, okay? Then only you'll understand better. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take the line, okay? This is low, correct? I'll take it, uh, yeah. I'll take it here, okay? This is the first low? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is the second low? 
Okay. And this is the third law. Correct? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a triangle like this. I'm going to draw a triangle, all these things covered. All the lows have to be so the low I'm covered. So from the low of this, if it crosses below this low, the stock will definitely fall down. Okay. okay. So you can take us can take as long as it's above this, you can go long. Okay, you you will not see about anything on the red or green. Okay, it's all about the triangles. If you talk about triangles, if I want to take trades on the triangles, you can draw like this as a support and you can go long. You don't need to worry about any colorings of the candles. Okay, if you want to have a coloring also this, it's a secondary grade. But if you see the triangles are there, triangle works differently than the colorings. Okay, this is a different strategy. This is, this is a powerful strategy. If you really think on this particular uh indicator the triangles are the best strategy which we have okay so I, I should have put the entry with the triangles okay i should have put an entry with the triangle but it will be too noisy so if i put entry with the, everything on the triangles it will be too noisy so that's the reason i removed it and then had a different entry levels okay so what you need to do is you can draw a triangle like this one, two, three triangle here, which is a taken to the low. And all you need to do is what you can do is you, you form a zone correct. You have a zone correct. With the zone, you can mark the reversal FIBO and then you can take the trade. You'll find the targets. Okay. All you need to do is mark this zone like this, take the reversal FIBO, do it to get the targets. Am I done? Yes, sir. Sir, are the triangle color should be the same color? No, like, don't uh, take in about, between. No, no, no. Don't take anything. Yeah, take anything. Like if you see a red color, like join all the red. If it was green, is there? Mm -hmm. Join all the greens. No, if in between these three, uh, among these three, if there is the middle and uh, middle one is a green one. Can we take I the support said, like this? I repeat one more time. Join all the grids, join all the greens. That means that oh. I have only okay, one okay. green is here, correct? Only one green is there. That means that what is saying is green is on the top. That means that above this candle, it will definitely go up. That means that above this candle, it definitely goes up. And this will be your stop loss. Did I hit the stop loss? No. It didn't hit the stop loss? No, sir. So, if you follow, there are three soldiers are there. It gave me a support. And also, I get the targets with this particular zone. And also, you also have one more triangle here. You can also use the reversal fibo on this. You get the targets. You can either use this and either use this. Both will give the targets. Okay, if not able to do it, I'll do it right now. Hey, hey something has happened to my... Uh, what is that? Uh, reversal fibo, right? Where is reversal fibo? It's below pi level. Okay, okay. So this one is a reversal fibo. Okay, I'll take this reversal fibo here. So if you take this candle as your entry point, right? You take the reversal fibo at this particular thing, and you find this target. First target is here. It's a first target. Second target and the final target is here. Hence the final targets. Pinpoint accuracy. Yes, sir. Okay. That you can do. Or yeah. you can also take the same zone, which you have you have this zone, correct? You take this particular uh, candle here. Take it from here. Take it to this particular level. You got this. See, breakout was here. Target was here. And then you got this third target or fourth target also. If you if you have drawn it, 
you know that this is a perfect triangle, perfect target. Draw it and see. You'll find this target hitting. I'll show you with another one. Okay, let me take the uh, I think I don't know. Okay. So that's what it is. So all you need to do is take all the triangles here and then draw a zone at the bottom. It will definitely help you in your trades. Okay, I don't want to teach more onto this. The triangles, whenever you see a triangle is there, above this particular triangle, it's a long for me. Below this triangle is short for me. You're getting so do you need any, any in the specific number of triangles, like two triangles here or uh, of the same color? Uh, Sorry? Uh, to draw that zone, uh, do we need Minimum three triangles or two. Or no, something? no, sir. So one candle, you don't need to draw triangles. Uh -huh. If you have two, okay. you can draw a triangle. The rectangle, sorry. Because we have to see which is a low and which is a second low, right? But if you have three, right, you have a bigger rectangle support level. So you'll find a bigger support level for me. You can do the same thing with anything, sir. You can also do it. So check on Dodla Dairy. Sorry? Uh, there is a stock called Dodla Dairy. There are in that. There is red triangles also and there are uh, green can, triangles. Can also. we take it? Can we take it? Which one is it? Dodla Dere. D O D L A. D D. Dodla D. D for dog. D O D L A. D sir. Starting. Starting D. D D D. D O D D. D O D L A sir. Dolda. Dolda. Dodla. Dodla. One day if you see there is uh, both scenarios you will find. Okay, so here, in this case, we have only one, correct? Let me draw. Yeah, I'll draw the for me. Here. I draw the reversal over here, okay? Sir, so time frame is one day. Time yeah, so, one day only you have to check. This is very, very small stock, a very big stock, but... Volume will not be there, right? In this particular spot, there will not be any volumes. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, so we have the triangle here. So this candle is a triangle. So above this candle will be a buying, and below this candle will be your selling here. First time it it hit the stop loss here. Second time it moved. Okay, that's fine. So in this case, I will have only one level. Okay, here we see one, two, three, four selling is there. Okay. So here, selling below is here. What is the selling below level? This is the first candle. This is the second candle. This is the third candle. And where is the fourth? Yeah, fourth. This is the support level. It's from. Got it? So it's and good. same way during April and May month, there are green candles formed on the right side. After that, you have to draw the football level. Okay, it is moving away from the target. So if it crosses this, then it will go up. We have a rejection point here, but it will go up. We can have that. Okay, same thing here. Uh, if you see uh, here, let's say one, two, three candles here. I'll take this low. One, two, three. Okay, this is a low, right? So when I take this as a low, my targets will be at this particular level from here. To this particular level. My target was here. So you see, this is my rejection point area. That's where it's got rejection. Then it got support from this. And then it got a target. Here. It's all about how you work. Okay. So I can, if I keep on drawing for everything, right, then chart will be only with markings only here. Right? If I draw with marking, it will be completely unmarking. So we cannot do that. So all you need to do here is whenever you see a triangle like this, draw a triangle, draw, see, see, this one is telling me a triangle. So when it's straight triangle, above this is go long. You can go long with this. But I'm one thing scared. you have to be sure, one thing we have to be sure is if the, tri if the, if the, the 
the trend is on the red and then if the trend is on the green at the bottom right don't expect that it will go at the same space okay when the trend get changed right this will be powerful it will go like crazy so at the same year in the hot sorry it just stop not uh, yeah, you said it is it, it, the stop loss, but actually, you see, you did not give a closing below the top. Can you be a little bit louder? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, so in the same scenario, you mentioned that it hit the stop loss. Correct, okay. actually, it did not give a closing below the top. No, it should close here. Nah? In channel. No, no, it under daily, it did not close below the cloud. Ah uh, yeah, uh, it is not close below the cloud. That is that's that's a different case. Okay, it is not close to the cloud. But if you see at this particular strategy is concerned, when the triangle is there below this is a selling for me. Okay, so people would have taken a stop loss here. So I, that's why I said stop loss it. Okay, so that is the case. I said plus it. If it's, if you take the cloud as your support, it it is not hit the stop loss. Okay. So you can use anything, brother. So one thing is, if you see triangle like this, on the above side, you can go long. Below side, you should go short. Above is long, below is short. Same thing here. When you see four, three triangles are there, above this triangle is short. So above this triangle is long for me, right? All you need to do is, we did it on the lower side, right? You can also do it on the top side. So this is the top one. This is the top one and this is the top one. Then you take the top alone, right? This is like resistance. And if you see bottom side, we did like this, correct? We did it like this. We did the second and then we did the third. So this is my sub. So this is the range it will be from. This range it will be acting. See this. Then it's broken. Okay. So can you show this on uh on something like say bank nifty uh on intraday? This triangle start. Triangles? Bank nifty? Yeah. Or okay. intraday. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Bank nifty <clears throat> indexes. I'll go with uh five minutes is okay for you. Five uh, minutes. Yes, of... that, that will be. Yes. I'll go with three minutes, okay. Let's go with three yeah, minutes. Okay. We'll find sure. more number of uh, triangles. We'll find it, okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. So we got one triangle here. We got one triangle here. Okay. So I said above this is a buying for me, below this sell for me. Okay. The candle getting crossed above this. So we got our first failure here. Okay. But you can still mark this level and the top is a buy for me. And then this is sell for me on this particular candle, sell for me. So this is a level we need to mark and we need to work on. So if you see here, this zone, correct? This cone, if you mark the reversal to go on this particular thing, you get the targets. You get the targets on the top. You can draw, you can draw and keep it. You will definitely get the target. So one thing is sure is above this particular candle, it's long. Below this particular candle, it's short. So we had only one candle here. We had one candle here. Sir, I wanted, sir, I, I got only one candle, sir. What should I do? Can I draw a zone? If you want to draw a zone on the one candle, you can take the body along. Draw it. Otherwise, don't do it. Okay. We find any three... Soldiers here. Do you find three soldiers anywhere in? Okay, you see how many soldiers are here? One, two, three, four. Correct. This is where you ask. Correct. So we have three soldiers. I'll draw the zone on the top. On the top, I'll draw the zone here. Okay. I take the top. This is the first top. This is the second top. And this is the third top. And there's the fourth top. Right. Okay. I I taken on the top side. Bottom side also I take it like this. You asked now. I said this. So this one is the lowest one, and then this is the second lowest one, and the third lowest on the top. So I'll just move it a little bit on the higher side, and then fourth one is here. So this is a low. Above this is a long. Below this is a short form. That's it. See this event hit the target. Okay. Again, it fell down. This is a. Okay. Okay. 
exactly yeah, yeah. Understood. exactly the zone correct it did not move even a single move on the upright yeah. okay all this you need to do brothers otherwise it's it's like mm -hmm. everything is given free right you become very lazy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what are these pink color bands which is running horizontally how have you drawn these two zones two orange colored zones uh huh. Now again, huh? Okay. This is on the top. Yes, sir. Is this on the top. Top yeah. I select. Okay. Second top I selected. Third yeah. top I selected. Fourth top I selected. It formed. Yeah, this, this is here. Huh. What yeah. about the second this thing? This one. Yes. The second one is on the lower side. Same candle. Low. Oh, okay. Low, low. And then like this low is higher than the previous low, so I extended on the higher side. That's it. Okay, sir. Okay, so we found this and this and the zone. And then above this only it's long and below this is shell for me. So you should have gone sell from this particular area for selling. Okay, so thank you. So Brain, what are these pink color bands which is running? The red, red yeah. color bands. This one? Yes, yes. And similarly, green is also there. I, I did see. not come to that a lot. I'll be coming now. Okay. So once this is over, I'll come there. Okay. So this one is over, right? We talked about the soldiers. Are you okay with this? Yes. How yes. to draw, how to draw yes, the yes. line on the top yes. and the bottom, support and resistance. This is what you can, you can do. And then you can take trade with this. You can also have a reversal figure on this particular thing for taking a trade. Everything is okay, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, can I, uh, can you, are you going to leave somewhere else? Yeah, can I can you... take it for 10 minutes if you want. Okay. So let me give it to Kayo. So let, let him do it, uh, for 10 minutes and let's come back to whatever things which, uh, which I'm missing out. Okay. Kayo, can you take it for a uh, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Let, yeah. Just give it to back. So I I've done with the triangle right now. When I come back, we'll talk about more on yeah, the, so yeah, I'll just give it to you. Just take it up from me. Give me uh, the sharing thing. I was na. You are the host. No, no. Actually, my mic was not working, so I re-logged in. Oh, re-logged in. Okay. I give in. Okay. Then is my screen visible? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to teach, uh, speak about multi time frame analysis. Many people want to know about it. So, this is uh, okay. So, uh, in swing, normally many people, or also in intraday, many people use uh, multi time frame analysis. The reason is that uh, to take a better trade, it uh, suits some people. Uh, so, it is important to know that with this new indicator, how we can take uh, utilize this. So, basically, what happens is on the larger time frame, if you want to say, for example, if you want to do swing, say you see the trend on the, you see the overall chart pattern on the monthly long-term time frame, you will get an indication. What is the pattern happening? What is the trend? The clear trend. Okay. So now we'll see this chart on a monthly time frame. What can you observe about this on the, on this chart? Please reply. Bullish. It has to be interactive. Trend is bullish. Uh, you can yeah. see that the trend is on the upside okay so yeah. first our confirmation is that on the higher time frame uh, the trend is on the upside okay uh, the entry as per this indicator was here at around 250 so i wish prem sir would have published this indicator at that time we would have got a early entry uh, okay so now when you go back to the weekly you will also see that there is an entry it's green it's bullish the cloud is up the trend is up it's all bullish. Okay. So now for a swing trader, you could probably want to go to a daily time frame. Now, again, what you are seeing in ICIC bank is your, as per the indicator, you are getting an entry. So what would I do? I would most probably take an entry over here, keeping this as the reference candle and take an entry. The reason being, uh, the overall trend is healthy. Also, what you need to do on a higher time frame? Let's say for a weekly time frame, what you need to do is just try and draw the major supply demand zone. So how can you draw that? We'll see this. What is this? This is your 
supply zone or you call it resistance. Some resistance. people call it resistance, right? Mm -hmm. You can draw this here on the weekly time frame. Then you draw your demand zone, right? This will help you in your taking your trades. This is your demand zone or what we call as support. You can see the overall pattern is uh, positive. Now what we're happening here, if you can see here, the resistance zone was broken. The supply zone was broken here. It went up, but it did not sustain. And then it again came down. Let me try and see what happens here. Okay. We'll turn negative maybe. Yeah, for, for one candle, it turned negative yesterday, day before yesterday, and now again it is positive. My overall trend is positive. Probably what I can do here is, this could be another major uh, resistance and a supply zone, this zone. So what you can do is, you can take an entry here. Your first target would be what? The resistance zone. This zone, okay. So your first target, because why? The reason being, we don't want this to form a double top or probably it could come here and then go back to fool the retailers, right? So, uh, basis, this indicator, this, this is a positive, uh, chart right now, as of now. So I would probably want to enter this overall trend is positive. It's just that I want to see this resistance, strong resistance zone. How is it forming? So this is one multi time frame way. If you can, if you want to take an entry, you can also go to the four hours on the, this chart. Let's see what is on the four hours. It's right now negative. Okay. So we, we would want this to turn positive and then you can take an early entry as for the four hours. But you can also stick to the daily time frame and take an entry. If this ca candles open above this, you can take an uh, entry till first target over here and second target here. Any other stock you want to share? I've got one sh uh, stock. Okay, you can see this Oriental Aromatics. Okay, uh, let's see it on the monthly. This is a very interesting stock. Monthly, it is giving an entry. I will draw the major, just to try to draw the trends. This is your major uh, support zone now. This could be one of your resistance here. This, okay, on the monthly time frame, this is a base. Okay, now let's see what's happening on the weekly. Is it giving an entry? Yes, it's giving an entry. I am right now removing this, uh, name. sorry, I can't remove it. That's fine. Okay. So now even on the weekly, this is giving an entry. Now let's see what is happening on the daily. Remove it. Just go to settings. Go to settings. Go down. Yeah. Uh, true. Change it to false. Order block. Order block. Order block settings. True. Change it to false. Yeah. Okay. So now what is happening on the daily? What you saw is. Multiple things you saw monthly. It is a buy. Weekly buy. Daily buy. What will you do? This is this is like a reference line here, like a strong support here. Considering the uh, chart structure here, multiple. Uh, so what would I do? I would enter here. Okay. This is a giving a good range breakout. This is a good range breakout stock. I would definitely go in and entry enter this. For my target probably would be, I would break down the targets. Uh, if I'm doing swing, I would be realistic in it. I would go for 600. I would go for 650. I would go for 750. And then eventually your target will be this because the reason being the overall trend is, the overall trend is positive. You can draw these support resistance lines, supply oh, demand okay. zone lines. This will chart will move within this. And as per this uh, indicator, it could, most probably hit uh, target one, target two. So you'll have to play these. Uh, multi time frame is a very interesting thing, but you need practice over it. You need to know your uh, basic uh, supply demand zones, and you should know the chart pattern. You should know how the chart is developing, what is going to happen. Uh, you need a foresight about it. Now, luckily, this indicator is giving us all the things you could do manually. You don't need to take that effort. Uh, I would probably enter this. Any other stock you want to share, uh, discuss? R trade. Pardon? R trade. So, ah, it is there uh, in my weekly stock. One list. question, Kyu sir. Uh, we will see the cloud also here, right? If it is 
green on upside, we will take entry. If it is red on upside, we will yes, not. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's me see. Oh, yeah. Is on the top. Yes, cloud is green. Weekly, cloud is red. Okay, no problem. But you want to do swing? Here, there is no cloud as of now, but it's fine. The entry is there. I would still go for the entry because my daily my time frame is on a, when you do swing you should uh, your major factor should be the daily time frame and you should focus on that weekly and uh, monthly we are only seeing for the trend uh, basically and support and resistance okay, levels okay you that that red color candle will change to green soon okay so it's turned to green it'll definitely go to that first target because it's all intact so it will do yes you can also take this as a uh, stock selection so yeah, let's see the where the stock goes in. Card the... trade is there in my uh, this thing for weekly stock selection. Card trade was there. Yeah, see. First, I'll see the major trend. I will try and mark this, the pattern here, like this. You can mark this is a channel. You have to be very quick. You should not be uh, kind of getting stuck in all these processes because. Trading is all about simplifying things and uh, moving on. Okay, so monthly you marked all your major support and resistance zones, the chart pattern. You come on the weekly, it is a buy. Okay, monthly there is no nothing coming. Weekly it is a buy. Right now there's a purple candle. Yes, about this taking this as a reference, you would go. Your cloud is green. You go. If this about this, you take an entry. Your target would be so much. You can even break down the target to eleven hundred, eleven eighty two. You can uh, trade like this. Oh, your overall chart pattern is positive. This is a major supply zone. You can see this. If it breaks out about this, it will go up. It's very simple. You just try to draw the patterns and see how the uh, chart is behaving. Please, Swing trading is very easy. Please check MMTC. 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 Yes. See, on the monthly... This is a major uh, supply zone or uh, resistance. Okay, so I would right now wait for this to either come here because right now in the monthly, if you see the cloud is also gray, red. So uh, I would not enter this right now because the trend overall trend, even though being positive, it's just a very important uh, demand zone or a support zone. Okay, so now let's see on a weekly what's happening. It could probably reverse from here, but I would wait for a reversal candle. But my on my daily, I would not enter this because on my daily, the indicator is showing negative. Even though cloud is green on top, it should be red. There is a strong chances of a reversal from here. This, this could be like this. Okay, but I would now enter only on from the chart pattern, I would enter if this closes above this. I would not enter before. This would probably reverse from here. Strong chances because this is a very strong support zone. If it goes below this, it could go to around 77. But from a swing perspective, I would look for something which is giving me an entry and has got a better chances of moving up. I need all the three uh, timelines to be in the positive. Like OAL was positive even on the daily. Even though cloudy or is red, but I would still consider the overall chart pattern and the trend. There is another. Oh, let's see Nestle. Okay. What would you guys do here? You would go for a breakout entry, right? Yes. Most of the people would go for a breakout entry. What would I do? Correct. I would not do anything. I would have marked this as a reference candle. Only if this uh, sustains above this for one day or two days, I would enter. Otherwise, I would not enter this. Weekly, let's see. Weekly is obviously in positive considering the chart pattern. Uh, monthly, it's not yet formed. It's fine. So here, now what happened with this? You see, it did not sustain about the reference candle, it went down. So you have to save yourself. You can't, you need to have a setup. You need to have a plan. What you're going to do, you know, your entry exit rule should be very clear. Now, if you see this here, 
such a beautiful uh, this but yet it gave you a false breakout here and it trapped us you have to be ready for every eventuality your rules should be clear how you're going to enter how you're going to exit any other stock Colpal right now at a very strong support. This is this cloud is also a very strong support. Okay, overall trend is what? Oh, overall trend is super bullish. This is actually like a flag and pole, right? Just draw these lines. It'll be these patterns will make it so easy for you guys. See, it will move within this pattern only. See, overall trend positive, but right now at a very strong support. Let this trend change. Probably we could enter early entry could be here or about this. We'll see how this develops over the next few days. I had some few stocks. Good check, please. Uh, cube investment. Someone is up. Cube was good. Cube investment. No, cube, no? Nah? Ah, yeah. This one. This one. Cube overall trend. Very positive. Very bullish. Draw your support line. Draw this. See, I'm drawing it on the higher time frame, so you know exactly know what is going to happen. Okay, there is a mini. Uh, you could draw these points also. Uh, weekly, it's in positive. It's about to break out from this uh, strong uh, supply zone. Okay, what will happen now? That once it breaks the supply zone, this is just a reference line, right? You could probably take an entry about this. When it breaks about this, you can take an entry. Four five nine four. You could go long for these targets. You know, you could break down the targets as per your uh, setup. How much percentage? So you should also have rules. Okay, at what percentage I'll book? How much? You know, you really want to be profitable. Once you enter a trade, you don't want to go into a loss. That is very important. Azad Engineering. No, that trade was the BL. BL. Okay, let's see BL. Overall trend. Is positive. This is more like a flag and pole. What I'll do here, I'll mark. Try to mark this. Overall trend is very positive. On a weekly, it is still in buy. What is happening here in the daily is that the structure has turned little negative, but the still the crowd is green on top. So probably I will draw this once here. Draw this trend line. See. If it goes above this, I could probably buy this here. When the indicator gives an entry, I'll buy it. And it will give an entry once it comes here somewhere. It's all about patterns and uh, structure and the indicator. So in swing for swing trading, this indicator is the best. I have not seen so much of accuracy in any indicator. And multi-time frame analysis, if you're used to it, uh, you could also probably, let's say, OL, where was OL? Entry here is triple five. I would, if I want to enter your, probably, yeah, it's still in the four hour also, it's a buy. You could go for an entry. <clears throat> Thyro, okay? Epic girl. Pardon? Epic girl. Someone has asked Epic girl. I think that, okay, just yeah. for one, one more stock and leave it, okay, because you need to leave, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I I take I have taken them most of the time. Sorry for that. So do it for one stock and you can leave. Epic Grill, a strong supply as for the monthly. This is a very strong uh, supply zone. So once you can see what happens, how the chart behaves. Once this crosses this, how you can see how it shooted up. So all these patterns you need to know what is happening, what is the chart structure. I would say, let's draw it on the weekly. It's positive. Positive daily. What is happening on the daily? Yeah. All the entire thing is positive. Now your major support zone is this supply zone. Uh, if it breaks above this, I'll take an entry for target five. Very easy. This indicator is the best. You know, I've been using this back testing it. It's really nice. Any questions? Okay, I'll take it from your cave. Don't worry. If someone asks me, I'll take it from you. Okay. 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 So just carry on with your work. Now you need to reach somewhere at one o'clock. Take care. Okay, I'll take it from here. Thank you so much, Kev. Welcome. So we have another uh, 30 more minutes uh, to complete. So I'll, I'll take it from here and complete it. Is my screen getting sh shared?
எவ்வளவு சீம் எஸ் கே எஸ் நோ எஸ் சார் யுவர் ஸ்கிரீன் இஸ் ஷேரிங் ப்ளீஸ் கோ மை ஸ்கிரீன் ஷேர் கரெக்ட் யூ கேன் see இன் தி இன்டெக்ஸ் எஸ் எஸ் so we have been completed with the triangles correct so everyone are okay with the triangles correct so how to draw yes so very clear the lower zone kind of range with so it's okay right so from this uh, what you can do is you can take it from the higher side and lower side you can draw if you see one candle here let's say i have only one candle here like this i can go long above this candle below this candle i can go short so you can also use the reversal fibo on this particular uh, one candle then you can also do it Let's see four, three, four candles are formed. Like let's say I have one, two, three, four. Four soldiers are there. That means that the positivity on the upper side is more. Okay. So and if you see also, you also see that the trend of the cloud is on the green on the top, red is on the bottom. That means that you are expecting a long side. You are not expecting on the short side. Watch out for that and start working on it. So I covered uh, the the cloud. I covered the um. Coloring of the candle, I covered the triangles. Now comes the best part of the trade, such as nothing but the uh, the order blocks, wherever which we which we draw the order blocks. These are like inbuilt from. Uh, I think whenever you find an order block here, like right, let's say a falling order block, or a, you will find it immediately. It doesn't wait for the like smart money concept where it has to wait for at least eight candles for making a order block. But here it it forms automatically. Whenever you see one particular candle is forming, it will automatically forms a order block. That means that that area is becoming like seller's area. So please be concentrate on the seller's area. So that area will be your continuously will be your upper side. Whenever you see a red color on the top, like pink color on the top, that means that it's a selling side where people are trying to sell from that particular zone. When you see on the green on the bottom right, let's say you have a green on the bottom, that means that the buyers are taking control over this area. Okay. that is the main area so whenever you see a thing is formed here the support is formed here but when the support is broken this get taken off you see it get taken off and then taken off also we still have that area covered okay so that is the beauty of this one this one is order block which comes immediately okay and uh, so all you need to do is whenever you see a red color or green color the area is forming don't expect the stock should fall down okay when you see a see it is falling down like this crazy right when it's falling when it falls below this candle then you can expect a fall if it's not falling right it's formed here and then went down again came down again took the support from here it is not falling below this it is falling below this then you find a better thing you find this as a support level and it goes up so all you need to do here is whenever you see a green color on the bottom on the at the bottom is nothing but the people are buying at that particular level this is like buying level this is like support level and this is like your resistance level treat them as a support and resistance okay how many support and resistance i have to draw here in the chart yeah <laughs> you have to do it and you have to see that okay where well, because that, that those are the areas we should not miss out okay this is the one which you need to have whenever you have the red and the green is forming treat them as a support in the instance support is forming you should be cautious see it is falling like this support is forming it little bit moved up little bit moved up little bit moved up falling then all little moved up again came down here took support again again it came down it did not hit the zone moved up from here so you need to be watch out for if you are a scalper like this these are the areas that most of the scalpers will do these are the areas that we, people will be going for shots okay that's what it is all about order block on this whenever a particular gray, gray colored blocks also where are they i, I didn't get, do that i'll do it this one is from our, our, our end wherever you find immediately it will take let me show you here immediately it will give you um it doesn't wait for any single candle even if single candle is forming with the uh, order block will be formed on a single candle itself i just move one step aside if this candle only it formed right i'll just move it here with that particular candle itself you see that the order block will be from next candle i'll just move it one candle and move it you'll find it because it's formed on that particular candle this okay that will give an opportunity that you need to be 
watches there will be a support will happening at this particular area you can book your position or you can do whatever things that you want to do below this will become like a selling point okay this is the first thing on the order block this will give you a advanced level of where the support is found and then let's have the smart money concepts here into this particular indicator smart money concepts comes into the picture here this one order block you can say true here and then i said block length is eight right you can also reduce to six or three or five okay five i put if it takes for five blocks and then it will give you a particular entry so here one uh, see here this particular thing this is another order blocks here wherever you see order blocks is forming that you think on the aspect like this is a zone this is a selling zone like whatever we, we did it here right we have a green color here same thing here it is like a zone is formed with a gray color okay treat that as a zone and second thing is you have red is on the top green is on the bottom so the green is on the top red is on the bottom means you are the majority is on the selling side so that means that even if it comes up we'll get a rejection point here so that is the reason we have red is enlarging here green is getting smaller i'll just show you here at this particular case we have an order block here your order block here order block what is saying selling is more on this particular area so it came up it hit that particular zone and then it start coming down because selling is more please be cautious on this particular area you should be out from the system it should be selling right so you should be having that in your it so when it forms another one it will create another one see right see we got another order block here one two three four five fifth candle i'm getting my order block fifth candle form one two three four fifth candle we got the order block here in this case you also see that red color here which is more that means the selling is more on this particular thing. you can also reduce it as as whatever block length is you want so as long as five is up will be okay right do not go with one or two okay go with five and then maximum is four i think you can you cannot have more than i would five is a basic thing that we need to work on okay so this one will give you a perfect entry see this selling is on the top that means that sellers are more buyers are less so it will definitely fall from that it will definitely fall whenever the sellers are see the sellers are getting increased like anything you see the sellers are increasing it's not no. buyer sellers are increasing yes. it's going like crazy it's going down going down. even if it comes up comes up you will be getting see, rejected from that growth zone you'll get rejection from this particular area so the selling is still on we are still old your trades we already in the red color it's already on the sell side it's also giving you a confirmation that it's still going down and down and down there also again another order block is forming see this again a selling is there what color is how many confirmation that you have seen here you find one order block from our side then it's also falling it's still the selling is here it's still old your trades Still hold your trades. See another orange is yellow is there. Again, one more is forming. See how beautiful it is. How much point that you would have made from this with the order blocks? Mm -hmm. So it's asking you. See the like indicator itself is telling you to hold, and also you get a double confirmation that okay, my selling is correct. I'm selling is correct. I don't want to sell it. That indicator is also telling me in red. This is also telling me red is on the top, red is on the bottom, which is very big. Okay, I'm on the sell side. I'm right on the sell side. It is going down and down and down and down and down. What else you need, guys? Tell me. So much of confirmation is already there in this particular thing. You need more confirmation to this indicator. Tell me, everyone. Tell me. Do you need more more indication? No. No, sir. More confirmation. You need? So the. Uh, Something in between. Uh, what does that mean, sir? Which one? The green blocks, light green. Yes. No, no the light in green. Between at... that, in between the order blocks, she is asking. This one. Yeah. Mm, yeah. This one is like this also order block created immediately by this candle, but it is not sustaining. It is falling, so it it got removed. 
it then is created here. Okay, so, okay, so it's this continuity here, it's created here, and then it's created here. So this is the next uh, support level. So it's creating a support level. We are the bias were seen, but it will not sustain, it came down. Again, the bias was seen at this particular level, but it will not come down. Again, the buyers are seen at this particular level. That's why you see so much of pressure from the selling also, selling and buying. Okay. So you got to know how this order blocks works out. So Done. in this lower yeah. green block, now yeah. what are we? What should we interpret for this? That we need to move out or we need to stay in it? What? The first this one, question. come down, first down, question. down. First question. This last, last block. This one. This one, yes. Okay, now tell me what shall I do? I have I've been talking for one and a half hours. Okay. Okay. So I you have, you have all the scenario here. Okay, now tell me what should I do? Wait for the green candle to form. Yes. So, so what will be a target? Target one hold the target. Target one. Sorry. Sorry. Hold the cell target. Sell trade, sell trade. Sell trade. Hold the sell trade. The first person. Okay, okay, you okay, can hold it. Okay, you can hold it. Okay, you can take the target one. Okay, next. Is it giving me an opportunity for exit? You tell me in the chart, is it giving me an opportunity for exit? Only the, no. the block at the bottom is telling me the support is around this area. Correct? Yes, yes. No further confirmation. No further confirmation is there. Bye. This one is there for support. This is only support is yeah. there. Trend yeah. is negative. Order block is negative. Candle is negative. Everything is negative. Yeah. So I can yeah. go on yeah. this particular thing. I have to so go for a short only. Okay. okay. Unless okay. it's turning to green. If it's turned to green, what I'll do? Only the target will be here. If it's turned to green, my target will be only here. So what is this? Okay. See what is happening okay. here. Next level of this. Is it turning to green now? So what will mm, be yes, yes, yes. target will be here only. So here see order block is now is forming. This is early. See, this is an early entry. See, this is exactly the same area the buying also seen at this particular level. So this becomes your support. Correct? So now it's creating a support level at the bottom. Now you have a confirmation here. It's almost near to the Candle, it's almost near to the cloud. It came and no, then it's... No. okay. Mm. Let's see what happens here. You're getting an entry point now. Now you're yeah. getting it. Okay, yeah. but still, there's no long entry point is there. It's still on the selling side. It did not allow the market to go up, even though it's green is forming, even though the order block is forming, everything is. On the negative side, one see there are ten people are there. One cannot make sound, right? Ten will be more sound. One one person if he sound also that will not be heard. If ten people are saying yes and one people is saying no, what you will hear only yes, right? Yes. No, be heard. Mm -hmm. Same thing like this. So here most of the side is telling negative. It is not staying. Mm -hmm. It is coming down. We already know that this is rejection point. So why should I go? So let me see where, what is happening from here. Selling. It's going selling only. Mm -hmm. Now we're crossing. If it cross, it will be hitting the cloud. You have to be under percent sure that clouds will be your rejection point. When it's crossed, when it's crossed, mm -hmm. what happens? What is the target it hit? Yeah. Yeah. Next. Um, okay. Next order block. Yeah. So that is where the concept is all about. You need to be. This is the next level support. This is the support. Trading on this particular level alone. See this. Okay, now it's giving me a purple. That means that it is asking me to hold the trades. So now tell me where should I should be target. Target two. Target two. Target two. So why target two? Cloud is red. Red, red is on top. Red. So what is my target? Is target two is my target. And then we have two more rejection point areas also they are seen. This is one rejection point area and another rejection point is area here. Okay. The first target is another target two. Let's see whether it's hitting the target two.
Okay, it's not hitting the target too, but you are still holding the trade because it's purple. Correct? Yes. But yes, for strong. Green, now you are exiting from the side. Okay, let's see. But the target is target two. If it went up, its target two is still intact. Target two is. Oh, wow, done now. Is the target two? Done. Yes. Done. Okay, no. target done. Now the trend is getting changed. See this? It is getting green is trying to go up. So uh, this is my first target. These two are my first targets. First two targets. Here it will be a consolidation and then it will be moving up. Let's see. Getting rejection from that same area. Okay, trend is changing to green. No. Here trend is not changing. See, it took support from the cloud. Cloud. Uh, cloud going down. Now it's going down. Yeah. So what is the target we had? We had target only this. So we got the targets. Mm. What else? Tell me. You know exactly where the rejection will be. You know where the support will be. Where are you out? You're out from this particular candle. Let's say. Come on. You got the targets. Why should you wait for some more time? You know that after after crossing the cloud, you get only two targets. The two targets are there in the chart. Exit from that. What else? So nobody, I'll tell you, nobody in the world, if you buy indicators from anyone, right? They will not tell you like this. So accurate, so so perfectly created. It will tell you this is the target means that will be the target. It will not give any more else, anything else. That's why I can give you so much of trades in the live. Okay, it cannot. It can, I I can hundred percent show that it will hit the target. It hit the targets. It doesn't move from there. So this is how this indicator works. If you think that uh, I'm bluffing anything, I'm just did everything um, before and then showing it in the front of you. No, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it live with you. I'm opening the script, whatever script that you are asking me to do, I'm doing it in light. I'm not taking it from my own. Okay, that is a that is a special that I'm going to do because every time I'll be doing that only. I need to prove it to the people that it works beautifully. I should not take it a uh, one kind of a scenario, show it to everyone saying that you have to watch like this, you have to go like this. When you see when it's when you talk about a strategy, the strategy should, should work for any kind of scenario. If it's not working, it doesn't work out. Okay, you should throw out from that. If you say that, sir, this doesn't work on this particular thing, it doesn't work on this particular thing. No, I will not say like that. If it's if it happened like this, that is a target, that is a target. So I did not promise, right? When the when the entry is happened here, did I promise that the target five will hit? When no. this happened here, did I ever mm -hmm. told you that my target is target five? No. No, no, no. Why? Yes, because this cloud is very important. This is my important stuff. If that is not there, my targets, I cannot have my targets. Correct? So I know this is my target. That is my target. That is my limit. I cannot go beyond that. And also, if you're not seeing that, you also have the order blocks on the top. These two levels are there. Why should it go up? No. Think on that aspect, it will definitely work. So I covered everything on the chart. Like I, I covered the order blocks, I covered the multi-frame, yes, covered, but I'll tell you one more thing into it. So I, I talked about SR the this is this, like this, these lines are SR, right? If you don't want that, you can remove it. It will remove from the system. Okay. It will remove from the system. If you don't need, you can remove from the system. Okay. If you need it, you can have it. Okay, so that's for your. And uh, one more thing which also I have is en enable large order box, which I already showed you in the live. That when you put that enable large order box, right, it will tell you how much of orders and delta has been there. So you also see more number of volumes are coming, where the sellings are coming. See this year, the volumes are coming hugely on the delta is also negative, negative, negative. You see a big delta here. That means that positivity is there. He's absorbed all this particular thing into one single candle. This candle is absorbed all the deltas. Now it become positive. So it should move up. If you think of orders like in Bank Nifty and FT, these are the orders that you can see can move above with your thing. This is like scalping people will do. They see more number of volumes are being entered. They'll take it and they'll take it. For them, I enable this. Other people don't do that. Okay. So you can remove this one from the system. 
So if you don't need the structure, okay. The, the final one which we have is the structural breakout. Okay. We have the structural breakout. Okay. So I'll remove uh, other things. I want only the structural breakout here alone. I'll remove uh, the order blocks false. Okay. Sir, uh, block length, uh, what does the number 5 indicate, sir? It will take for 5 candles. After 5th candle, you find the order block. After every 5th candle? Every 5th candle, it will check for order blocks. And then it will the order block on the top. Okay, you can increase till 8. 8 is the default number where they use it for order blocks. Okay, the next one which we have is the structure breakout. Okay, the breakout structure, the market. It's called a um, uh, market structure breakout. Okay, that's, let's say. Okay, and this is like important concept in smart money where uh, the breakout of structure is very important. Okay, the breakout of the structure is like, um, let's see here, I already showed you something. So you can see here, this is like a structure, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, it moves up like this, right? And then it comes down like this. Okay, I'm just clicking one arrow. Why is that? Okay, yeah. It moves like this. And then it comes down like this, goes like this, comes like this, goes, and then comes down. Okay. It comes down here. What, what you are seeing here is, it's like a breakout, correct? Yes or no? Yes. It's a structure. Yes. The structure is getting break. So when the structure itself is getting broken, you get BOS. This entire move on the upside is going to the downside. Structure is changing to BOS. So it becomes like break. The structure is there. It goes long, short on this particular side. When the break BOS is formed, when the BOS is formed, it goes opposite direction. Whatever direction it is, it goes in the opposite direction. Okay. And then one more thing is that if if the if let's say the breakout is like this, okay. This is the breakout is there, it's like BOS is there. When the stock is coming like this, and then it's coming like this, means it's a breakout, means it will straight away fall. Okay. So this is a possibility of a breakout shift. If there is another one called COCH, right? COCH is like in me, it's like it doesn't go like bigger fall. Let's say I'm drawing this line, right? Let's say it it, it the stock went like this and it's break out like this. It takes like somewhere like this. You cannot expect more more structure to it. It can break and it can move up, but you do not expect a more fall. You cannot expect a more uh, movement on this particular side. It's only thing is uh, people who follow structure breakout will know the structure, right? So you follow uh, uh, the triangle breakout or the uh, upper high double top. Everything is already there. Right? So it's not double top as such because I've been talking for two hours. My mouth is paining like anything. Okay, so it's like, let's say, Let's say here, okay, I just remove everything. Just remove this. Okay. So if you if you fall if you if you if you are a price action player, right? What they do is they draw this one, right? Only people do this. That means that below up above this it goes up, correct? And then you below this, below this line, correct? You draw this for a for a breakout, correct? So here the structure is getting breakout. So the BOS is broken. This structure is getting breakout. See this BOS, BOS. Because when this is formed, and then this is my actually this is my breakout point. That's why the breakout point is there. And then when it moved up. We find another breakout point here. So this is the breakout. 
and then again, uh, this is the final breakout that happened here. See this exactly that area. It's all when you when you try marking it on the chart, right? It takes time, so it, it is done automatically. And then it does it in multi time frame analysis. Okay, so it also has a multi time frame analysis to the uh, structure breakout. Like, sir, I I so I usually work on two minutes breakout. I usually work on five minutes breakout. I I work on one one hour breakout. So there are there are different times that time frame that people will be looking out for structural breakout. So what I did is I had all the things into one single uh, area. Like say I want to see whether in um, four hour time frame or two hour time frame or one hour time frame, um, this getting changed. I want to see in thirty minutes. I want to see it change. So I have thirty minutes. I also want fifteen minutes. I want to do in fifteen minutes. I'll take it to fifteen minutes. I have three different time frames set up here. One, one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. When I put that, it also checks for 15 minutes breakout. It also checks for one hour breakout. See this one hour breakout is here. It also checks for 15 minutes breakout. I'll say one hour breakout is here. It also checks for 15 minutes breakout. It also checks for uh, five minutes, uh, 30 minutes breakout. And it will tell you right away. You don't need to worry about anything. It has all three time frames in the chart. Okay, it's not showing right now because there's no 15 week. Already three minutes is already covered. I'll just go for five, maybe uh, 10 minutes here. It will be the same uh, amount here. here. 15 minute breakout is also there. And then you also have one hour breakout. Then you also have 13 minutes also. Okay, so don't worry. It's all about how the how you're placing your trades. Right? You also know that it's a 15 minutes breakout, it's a one, one hour breakout that I also mentioned in the chart itself. So you can also, like if it's a bigger time frame analysis, like one hour, one hour breakout, then it will be a bigger fall. Let's say here, one hour time frame, such a breakout is there, gone. Follow me. So it's it's about the structure, how the structure is getting breakouts. Only thing is BOS, COSCH. You need to see only BOS. BOS is nothing but a structure breakout, you just Go for it. COCH, it's okay. Don't need to worry about anything. But VOCH, VOS, try to watch out for it. That's the way I'm just made it as COCH and then VOS. Okay. These these two are very, very important when you see about structure of the structure is whether the breakout is happening, whether the breakout is not happening. Only for that we have this. Okay. And the final one which I have, I think I don't want to cover more into it. So if you want to learn more about uh, VOS SMM. You just go and Google it and uh, Google it and learn about smart money concepts to find more documents to it, you get more clarity to it and then have it. Okay, because I am only scheduled for two hours, it may get uh, disconnected anytime. Another 15 minutes, it get disconnected. So I cannot continue with this. And the final one, which I already have in my chart is the important line. Okay, you will see there is an important line in every chart. So you don't want this structural breakout, right? You can remove it from the disabled structure breakout. It doesn't show you. If you don't want that to be seen in the chart, you can remove it. Okay. And the final one, which we already have in the chart is important line for intraday. It will only show you if you have it 15 minutes. If you go for 30 minutes, if you go for 30 minutes, you won't find the intraday line. It doesn't show you. It's only show you when you have it in less than 15 minutes time frame. If I put five minutes, you'll find it. It'll find it. You'll find it. If you'll find it for one minute, also it'll find it. If you put for uh, three, five minutes, you'll find it. Okay, it takes time. It'll show. Okay, if you put for 15 minutes, it'll find. But if you put 20 minutes, it doesn't find out. It doesn't show you up for 20 minutes. But it, all you need to do is you need to put it in five minutes or three minutes. If you're doing an intraday position, put it in three minutes. Okay, once you put three minutes, you find one line will be drawn. So this line is nothing but 930 candle open twice. So when you draw that particular line, that will become your entry point. Like below that, you can go short. In above that, you can go long. And then if it goes up, you can have a previous line will be your support or resistance. So if you have previously, you also have that, you can also have this. And previously, you also have this, right? You just I'm just marking everything for you to understand, okay? 
here also I have previous thing. I'll just mark as also. So nothing but you also have a different level of support and resistance. Okay. And second thing is you need to do is on a single day that you want to work on this particular day, right? Draw the 915 candles alone. This is 915 candles, right? Okay, let me go back to the last one. This is on 18th, right? 18th one, you see this bank nifty. You got this important line here. So above that line, it went up like an engine. Okay. So previously, next to the previous day was below this line, it was sell. See this? It fell like crazy. So here, and for that day, another day, 16, 9, 9, 9 candle was there like this. Was a rejection point there? Okay, previously 9 30 candle was here. Below this is sell, above that it was buy. Sir, this, it's a close of 9 30 candle. No, open of 9 30 candle. Okay. okay, that is what it's all about. Nothing else. I think I covered more everything in my chat in my indicator. Okay, so there's nothing. Which I left in the indicator. Okay. So regarding the multi time frame analysis, you can also do one more time, which I also have people have been asking me on the multi time frame analysis whenever I do the live trading right. So let me do one more thing here. So here, see Bank Nifty in four hours is telling me a uh, bearish. Okay. This is like simple. You don't need to draw about uh, the structure that KO did or anything. You also have a simple way of doing it. So when you see a four hour time frame, one hour, one day time frame is bearish, just go for four day, four hours and one day time frame. Just go to four hours time frame. Just go to four hour time frame. Where is the entry? Cell entry? Cell entry is here. Four hour time frame, cell entry is this. Okay, and one day time frame. I just move to one day time frame. Cell entry is here. So that means that this area is very important area for me to work on. Okay. I'll check it here. I just draw a zone like this. This area is a support area. Below this area only there'll be a selling. Until then, I'll not go in for selling. Okay. So here. I just mark it. So this area below this area is a bearish for me. So 15 minutes is bullish, correct? Fifteen minutes is bullish. What is saying? Fifteen minutes is bullish. Where is the entry? This is entry. Okay. So can I go long? Yes. You tell me, can I go down? Yes. Okay. yes. I have a multi yes. Time analysis. This is a selling for me, but it's above the uh, selling point. So it's yeah. long. I can go long. I can go long for targets. Like that, you can do it. Okay. So other way around, if it's uh, one day, it's bearish, bullish, and then uh, other time frame has a bearish, go with one day time frame. You draw that, draw the, draw the zone. Uh, let's say you have only one day as a bullish. So just draw that line below that you will be a selling but above that it's a buying for me just go with the lower time frame if it's saying short go for short take it until till the last minute for buying that's how you need to do the time frame analysis that's how it is this one is made okay if your people say that in one time frame i do all the analysis and see whether the buying is done you know, that that thing is okay but when you when you do it do it in Pakka minus like this. We do it before as in market, one hour in market. This area is very important area for selling. Below this is a selling for me. It is not going below this. And then it's giving you a bullish on this particular time frame. It's above this particular zone. So I'm going for long. Done. What else you need? Sir, what okay. is the form of CHOCH? I said, please. CHO, CH is nothing but a small structure breakout. Structure break. Yeah, it's a structure breakout. It's a small structure breakout. It's not a big structure breakout. Okay. Uh, 
But breakout of a structure is completely a structure is getting changed. Oh. Let's say um, a small structure breakout, like a small area, it is, it, the trend can change to negative or positive. Okay. But when a breakout structure is forming, that means that's just, the structure is not going to get changed. Oh. Okay. So that's the reason. You just watch that in uh, SMC, smart money concepts. So you'll get more. Okay. Sir, I have one question. Uh, like whatever we have learned, like OH candle, Marubuzu levels and all, all those strategies will still work, right? All market has completely shifted to this new... No, 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 no. They are changing their patterns. Okay. So they have already, uh, somewhere I've seen, already they have changed the patterns and everything. So whatever I did right now, right? That will uh, getting that will be going off in another two years. Okay, they are coming up with the new patterns which are which are which are we are already working on. I'm already working on that. So the levels which you see, right? Whatever the levels which I taught you here, like the levels that will be uh, like uh, even more. You you will not even think of that that kind of a levels. So that kind of levels are there that they are forming. So you find that the, the exit point is with the last point, which I said, right? It is not like that. It is it is ending before that. So, and then and then if you see my range of the market, which, I, which I've been talking, talking about, right? So they're not going with the same range of the market concept. They're going much earlier concepts. So if you see, it will work for the next two years. Definitely works. Even though if you, and then, it is like a cycle, you know. They go and people think that they have they have cracked it. They go to a different kind of a moment. They go to a different kind of a moment, and then finally they came back, come back to the same old thing. Because this this was seen in the year two thousand eight nine when they when they talked about OH candles, and then they were worked on it, and then they moved out to the indicators like moving uh, crossovers and everything. They they worked on crossovers, the golden crossovers that they worked on. Then they moved out. Then RSI came and they moved to RSI. Then, then MACD came and MACD they went in. And then they went into uh, uh, Ichimoku and then Super Trend. Everything they, they tried. So whenever people tend to know about the concept, they said that, okay, I mean, we're not going with any kind of indicators. They, they came back to the first old position, like OH candles. But if they, they're also seeing that the patterns are getting cracked like anything. So, so what they do is they are moving out from this particular zone to another zone where they're finding a different kind of a levels. So you find whatever the levels which we formed in the current scenario will get changed in another uh, six months down the line. Okay, there'll be a different February numbers will be there and different levels of support will be there. You find much more levels will be added to this particular indicator as well as other indicators which I already have. All the levels will be changed. The range of the market will also get changed and then uh, see how it works out next one year. Okay, so. Sir, can we yeah. check Electra for the other way around for this zone marking? One hour, uh, four hours Electra. and daily. Yeah, four hours and daily is bullish. Okay, one second. Let me. Uh, four, four hours is bullish. 15, yeah. 15 minutes was bullish, right? That day? Yeah. Okay, so four hours is bullish. So four hours is bullish. Let me go to four hours. <clears throat> four hours was here, correct? Yeah. So this is four hours. I've drawn this. And then one day is also bullish. So I'll just go to one day also. One day is somewhere here, bigger. Okay. But still, this much big is there. So I just want to take this. I'll take it from here. I'll take it till here. If it's very small, I'll mark this as zone. But if it's very big, I'll take it like Okay, I'll just mark it like this. I don't I don't mark it as a zone. I'll I'll take it. Below this is selling for me only. Okay, it's a confirmation cell below this. Here, till here I have a confirmation. So all you need to do is here, one day time frame, 1763 below is sell. And in four hours, only 1663 below is sell. You getting my concept? That means yeah. 1663 is sell only. Okay. Okay, here below this is sell only. Okay. Oh, okay. But below this only itself. So you can take support around this area alone. Okay. So what I do here is 
I fifteen minutes was bearish. Okay, fifteen minutes was bearish. So let me go one step aside here. Now it turned bullish. So it was bearish, right? Where was it? Wait. When when did we do? Okay, why I'm doing it daily? I'm doing. It, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing it one more time. Okay. Okay. So uh, it was here. I think it was here. Where uh, Sri Lakshmi asked me how to work with this multi time frame analysis. Here in one day it's bullish. Okay, one day is bullish. So when one day bullish was here. Okay, I'll just go for one day here. One day it gave me this is my entry point. This is a bullish point. So let me mark it as a green color here. Okay. And then I go with 15 minutes right. Okay, so above this is bullish. Okay. Above this is bullish. <laughs> but in 15 minutes, it's telling me below this is bearish. Below this is bearish. Okay. So in this case, what I'll do? Will I go for uh, selling here? This is bullish area. Below this only it will become sell. Okay, this area is a selling area. It's turned selling for me. 15 yeah. minutes. So I'll go for selling there. Yes. I cannot go for selling because around this area will become my selling. I can go selling and then you will see we get this particular move. And then see it goes down from here. And then you get this targets. It become bearish. So you always you have to go with the lowest one because it's very nearer, right? This and this is very nearer. So what I do is I'll wait for this area to cross. It is crossing. I'll take it to the short side. Oh. So for swing trades, how how do how do we do? What time? It, do it in thirty minutes. Yeah, swing is thirty minutes is okay. Over, okay for you. Okay. Do it in thirty minutes. Just do it thirty minutes, and then see how it works on thirty minutes. Check for it. You just see, uh, I'll 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 bring up one one stock. Okay, Tata Motors. Okay, you want to do first swing. Okay, you want to go first swing. You know, going here and closing it here. So when you go first swing here, it is telling me entry at nine twelve. Correct. It's giving me entry at 9 12. If I take an entry here, what is my target? Two, nine, first target. target. Two. Oh, nine, target. Nine, first nine, is nine, cloud. 926 only is in my targets, correct? Yes. So try to see a stock which is getting lower and lower and lower, and then this turning to green. When it's turned to green, we get a target five. So that means that. You have to see a least stock with the least price and then the trend change to green. In that case, you will get a bigger profits. If you go with this particular stocks, you get only 15, 20 points in swing. 30 minutes itself, you get only 9.26 only. So that's it. You don't, you. Get, no, you don't get more to it. So if you go with other stock like, um, okay, let's say Dixon, okay. <coughs> so Dixon Green Cloud is up, sir. Green cloud is up. Five yeah. targets. Four or five. Okay. So what is the target? We can go for four targets and five targets. Hmm. That is long. Yes. So if yes. you if have gone for year, right? Let me show you. Here this is ne negative, right? In this in this case. The red is on the top, correct? 
red is on the top green is on the bottom yes sir. yes so what is my target two 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 targets target, target two is here so 30 minutes i'm taking so my target is 14 8 48 so here it crossed if it crossed what's the target i'll go straight how many minutes Pink color, you're holding it. How much time it took? How much time it took? No. People ask for swing trade, right? How much time it took? Um, 11 bars. Just about. 11 bars means how much? 30? 30, 30, 30, 30, 5 hours. 5 hours. Oh, something. In a day. In a day. Yes. Yeah. Not less. People, are, less people are looking out for how many hours? Swing trading. How many hours? Six months. We are giving it in just one day. And so for the pink candles, we hold the trade? Yes. Till the candle turns red. Hold the trades. Hold the trade here. Hold the trade here. Because it's turning yeah. green now. Hold the trade. Why are, you, why are you selling it? It's not telling you to sell. Hold your trades. It's for purple only. Hold. Hold. Old, old, it's turned to green. Old, old for target. Green only, it's not red. Hold it. Now, red exit. No, green only. Sorry. Okay, now it's exit. Now it's green again. You have to buy for a target of this one. Okay, sir. Simple. That will hit the target. So is it possible to get alert where all time frame it is bullish? Stocks which are bullish in all time frame? I think not like that. Sometimes it should be negative also. Okay, if everything is bullish, then it turns to bearish also, no? Yes, yes. Don't think of this. Okay, if everything is bullish, everything is bullish. All you need to do is concentrate on the cloud. Concentrate on the entry point. Concentrate on the lower point. Here, the lowest is formed. The green is formed. It is crossing above. My target two is there. Crossing. My target is done. Then cloud is turning to green. Then I'm going. One by one at a time. One at a time. Don't take it everything at the same time. One at a time, it give you a good result. If you take everything at the same time, right? I put everything in my plate and I want to eat everything. No, you cannot do that. Okay. So what happens to fabulous indicator if one starts using this? So people are still using it. Right? This people has to go for subscription, right? That is for lifetime. The people are already having it. So mm -hmm. why they will go for this? So we have this then fabulous is of no use, no? No use, no. It's also useful. Yeah. What, who said it's not useful? No, you Six have five. it. I think fabulous gives late entries. No, who said? Okay, oh. same entries. Okay, sir. Who said? I show I show you the fabulous here. I gave this fabulous right. Uh, fabulous breakout point indicator. And taking this fabulous breakout point indicator, I'm just one. Uh, I'm just closing this one out. Uh, then fabulous goes waste, no? Who's no waste? Yeah, there's no waste here. Okay, <laughs> so this is fabulous breakout point indicator. Correct. In fabulous breakout point, you have the cloud here. Is it there or not? Yes, sir. Yes, is yes. It? Is there? Triangles yeah. also yeah. there. Triangles mm. also. There. You have the green color is also there. Yes. Do you think it is waste? Yellow and pink color. Yeah. No. You're making me joke like anything here. Yeah. Making me like a joker. You already have it, you know. You see, a selling is below here. When when sell below here, you get only target to one and two targets because it's green here. Target is only two levels here. See this. If it crosses above this, you get a target, all the targets. So, what so, suggest, uh, those who have fabulous, should they go in for this? See, the one, one thing, uh, the advantage over uh, fabulous here is, okay, uh, in this, you have more to it. 
you have more concept to it you have the the uh, you have the holding capacity here you don't have the holding capacity you see this uh, when it's turned to red you are literally out okay here is a green you are holding it but in this particular scenario if you see here it will be purple it is asking you to hold the trades but here it will not tell you that this will not tell you whether to hold or not i'll show you the difference between icici bank and then i think access bank and uh, this one access bank here access bank with fabulous this is a fabulous okay buy is given at what rate 1128 right 1120 okay. and then the next target was 1121 okay so here it also gives the targets okay but the thing here is first candle is red you see red and everything is green only you can still hold it but people will be a little bit worried whether i can book it or not book it but here if you see you see a purple is there they will be holding the trades this is for holding the trades and this is for confirming the trades on the sell side there you don't find it this is this, this is where you're going to give the money for it this one okay so i i nobody tells you the difference between everything people will say that this one is bad that one is bad yeah everything is bad only are so some people also already told me outside also that our indicators are very bad very bad indicators okay i don't wow who are they great okay <laughs> I have a very bad indicator. They haven't seen my indicator works beautifully. Okay, so, so it's okay. Uh, I take it. So this is what it is. You know, if all the indicators which I shared will also works. But one thing is you need to have more conviction to it. Here in this, it doesn't have the uh, you have the order blocks here, but you don't have the concepts here. We don't have uh, uh, the other concept like uh, yeah. Let me show you the difference. Okay, you see the difference here to the clouds. Yeah. Yes, sir. It, it's it's not matching. No. Okay, it's not matching. It doesn't match also. I'll show you here. Is it matching? No. It doesn't match. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing. Okay, uh, you find uh, the the yellow, that's one which I already told you. Okay, and you have the smart money cancels here. We also have the multi-time analysis, right? We also have the time frame, the, the, the time frame analysis for this one is also there. You can also have it. So, your... these are also not there, right? This is also there. It's there. It's the same soldiers are there. Same soldiers are there, but different places. You see that soldiers are there, okay. Noise is more here, noise is less. Here, the noise will be more. Here, you see, your soldiers are here in this area, but here, the soldiers will be in different area. Okay, concepts are same. But finding of the candles is different. Here in the fabulous, finding of candles is different. But in this, is the finding of candles is different. You're getting my point. If you don't find the same yeah. time, you don't find the same triangle, but you find triangles earlier. Triangles also there. But you see here, your triangle is there. But there, there will not be there. It, it goes one candle above. Where you miss the trades. Okay, so that is the beauty of this extreme. Okay, I show the difference also. I will say that both look same, but no, functionality is completely different. The entry point of Fabulous is it's great. Okay, entry point of Fabulous is great, and nobody can beat the entry point of Fabulous. 
एक्सट्रीम विल हैव आयर टाइम लाइक विल गिव यू अ एंट्री पॉइंट लेटर बट द टारगेट्स आर परफेक्ट सो व्हाट डू यू नीड इवन दो इफ यू गिव इट एन एंट्री एट आयर पॉइंट इफ इट गिव्स यू अ टारगेट टू पक्का यू विल गो फॉर इट या बट फैबुलस यू गेट एन एंट्री पॉइंट अर्लियर बट देयर इज नॉइस one last question are you making any more indicator like or this is the last one mm. <laughs> to decide whether no. to go for this or go for the no. no basically what really happens here is the trading view does not give more than 62 outputs in trading view you cannot have more than 62 outputs okay if you have more than 62 outputs you have to go for another indicator So whatever I did here, this is the final for extreme. For next six months or seven months or one year, I'm not going to create any more indicators. Okay, unless I feel like something got exhausted, something I need to newly innovate, then I'll do it. I don't see last indicator when I when I created, I created long back, and then I created reversal AI. Nobody wanted about it. Okay, reversal AI. is the best indicator that i really have nobody took it so i didn't give it to anyone so it is with me so one thing which i really want everyone to have it this one so this one is the final one which i am giving you did i give you more indicators no now wait whatever i given like when i when you joined i told you the those indicators are lifetime i given for lifetime i never change my words lifetime is lifetime okay i never took it from anyone else even though people left from me they they have the indicators i didn't remove it just go and ask them whether prime sir removed the indicator from you they will say that no unless i find completely like gone from me right they are literally cheated from me and then stolen and then they never talk to me on this they don't have the indicators other people those who left from me those who are not uh, with me they are still getting their indicators so the additional changes what you have made in this new indicator uh -huh. uh, why don't you add them in the fabulous why should i have because that functionality <laughs> that functionality is specifically for fabulous and this functionality is specifically for extreme so i cannot mix this one with that one so if i mix this one this triangle with that one the fabulous will not work exactly and then when this cloud works here correct i cannot put this cloud same thing in fabulous it doesn't work out you'll find noise yes sir come on yaar i'm creating an indicator i should know right what i'm doing right how will i whether i should give the same thing to every all indicator i'll take i'll take the indicator i'll take the Learn from there and then give it to this particular indicator and take that indicator and put it on this. No, I cannot do this. I need to be streamlining. I should do something, work on it. I should see which one is working, which time frame it works out. What I have to do, what changes I need to do it. Whether this changes will help in perfect entry or not. All these things I'm doing it. For that only you are doing for subscription, right? Why should I do that? I cannot pull this and put it there. If I can, if I if I know that if I pull it and put it there, some additional can... marginal things. Sorry, some additional marginal things which you can change, like here multi time. I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Okay, the fabulous. All the um all the sixty two levels are exhausted. Oh okay. Sixty two outputs are exhausted, so it is doesn't have even a single output. I cannot add one more output to it. I cannot even add the multi time frame analysis towards the fabulous. Change it <laughs> the same thing. You can't change it. Uh, in fact, if I, if I if I add the multi time frame analysis to the to the to the fabulous right now, I have to take out certain other stuff from that indicator. Mm -hmm. Because in the fabulous, you have the intraday setup also there. Like ROM is also there. We have the uh, institutional settings also there. Those are those are literally taking thirty forty. uh outputs from the fabulous and then fabulous has all the things for exhaustion so we cannot have more than that 
So that's why I cannot touch anything on the surface. Those who have purchased fabulous from you can't give this uh, uh, new indicator no. lifetime. No. Price. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. This is this is what we have it for uh, this fabulous extreme fabulous indicator thing, and. Um, if you have any doubts and anything, you just clarify. You have you have one day to test it. You have the indicator today. You can go and test it. All the things, and if you really like it, go for it. Okay. So take care and uh, buy from me. Bye. Right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank so you, much. sir. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you